And we're back. Sorry about that. My fucking internet decided to take a dump. Fucking piece of shit. Right when I was in the middle of nowhere, the car's wide open and my box is on the ground. That doesn't have a lock on it. It's a good thing there's not very many people on the server. We didn't even get to... We didn't even get to eat the entire tuna salad. I've been saying this for at least a year now. And I really, I really need to fucking pull the trigger on it. But it's a costly thing if I want to get something half decent, you know, to ensure longevity over time. I need a new fucking router. Because the router that we've got, where the internet connection is, is probably over 10 years old. Uh, it'll be more stable yeah, if I get a new one yeah, then one would hope that would uh, help solve some of these issues plus the, my connection to the router would be faster because that's on an old standard yeah. as far as the speeds that I can get on my computer that's been severely bottlenecked at the moment because the, <laughs> the Wi-Fi connection I've got in this computer is that this computer is only two years old. It's uh, one of the newest standards in comparison to the router that's old. I'd have a much, much better connection. But I mean, I, and the thing is, I don't know 100% if it's actually that that's the root of the problem. I could spend, you know, $150, $200 on a, on a decent router and then still have the same issues. Yeah, these these disconnects that I have from time to time could very well Yeah, these internet connection issues I'm having could very well be from the service provider. I don't know if it's actually down to my router or not. Should we go? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. We'll go over the mountain instead of going all the way around. side we're at the cold we're at the cold mine that's one of the mine entrances we want to get to the cold mine proper up at the 
So. Oh, we're at the old trader. I really came. Oh, fuck it! I could have just gone. The, I could have just gone on the main road and been home sooner. That's new. seconds. Yeah, you're going to have to put up with that god-awful techno music for a little while. I don't remember that sign being on the side of the building before. But the building itself isn't new. This has been here. But... I don't remember it being like this.
down to take a look around because from the outside it looked like it was a little different. There's a sign on the side that says sign on the side that says something that I don't remember seeing before. So I thought I'd come in and have a look around. It looks like they've changed it a little. The fuck is the exit now? was stupid loud even from the outside like you'd come near the place and you could hear hear you couldn't hear anything but the music in the whole area at least they changed it that outside the music is a lot quieter oh i'm okay with techno music i mean i used to be a disco rat i used to go to the clubs a lot back in the day it's just there's not much there's not much in the way of variety. A2, 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 A2. Yeah, okay, that's a bit far away. Someone else is probably going to get there first. We'll give it a try, because from here we have to go home anyway. And then from there, A2 isn't that far of a jump. We've still got 20 minutes on the clock. Go to C2 Bunker, carry on straight, go through the mountain, and that will get us there a little quicker. I always forget about the tunnel through the mountain. Get to the other side quicker. We'll have to go around. Are you, are you here, Ranger? Gonna go, are you going to go for that drop or, or not? Because if you are, then I'll leave it to you. But if you're not, then I'll give it a whirl. spin out all the time. This car knows how to dance and fly. crying out loud, can we not hit absolutely every little fucking obstacle in our way? What the fuck is it with me and my driving today? <laughs> I'm I kind of wish I could just make a right right here. Just go down the side of the fucking mountain instead of having to go round because of that crash barrier on the side.
Town, go to the quarries before we get to the quarries. I mean, yeah, before we get to the quarries, we hang a left. home. I mean, our, all of our inventories are fucking packed full anyway. We have to put some shit away. Might as well just go home. Yeah, and another two hours have passed, and we still haven't made it to the fucking shipyard and, uh, and uh, motorcycle track. Cargo drops and other things have come in between and distracted us. And now, well, at least now we've got night cu night coming along. That's about the only the only good thing I can say. Then at least we don't have to get undressed in the Mediterranean area. We're going to be okay dressed just the way we are. Okay, we basically need all of them, don't we? Because we put shit in just about every single box to make room.
Okay. We want to put this here. Anything else? Yeah, we can chuck another carbon hunter mag in there. And that's about it. We can put our bobby pins away. We'll eat that tomato because it's just going to go bad. Anything else to go in here? Yeah, we've got a, a gas mask. I think we're going to sell that, though. We'll sell that. We don't want to sell that. I want to put that away. Yeah, the AK I don't want to sell either, but I don't have room for it in the weapons box, do I? Or do I? Yes, I do. Lovely. We'll put the AK there. That's to sell... Two more fucking chainsaws. How many of these do we have now? Got three of them there. That's four. And we've got one in the build box, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we've got one in the build box. We've got five chainsaws. Okay, we're gonna sell one of them. Now we've got we've got more than enough. More than enough chainsaws that if someone comes along and they want a chainsaw, we can still give them one, no problem. I'll sell that. We've got more than enough of that. I'll sell that. I'll sell that. I'll sell that. And that. And that. And then these bags. What do these bags have in them? That we're going to sell. That bag itself we want to keep. making funny noises outside. <laughs> I heard some weird squealing noise come from outside. Let's just ranger in it. <laughs> Where's the cell box? There's the cell box. Oh no, it's a boar. Okay. What do we have in that one? We've got nothing in that one. That's already got an extra one in it. That's not going to fit. This is exact... This... This... this. What we have going on and all the other wardrobes is exactly why I want to get the bloody house built. So I can make a proper storage system where I can separate things out properly. We don't have enough space left in that one either, do we? Yeah, me ballocks. Well, just keep it at the bottom of the cell box for now. Hey, might as well. I know, I know what I want to sell from here anyway. It's not like I'm gonna get shit mixed up. Yeah, the door I want to keep. Yeah, look, 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 this is gonna be like a crafting area and a place where I keep general car-related stuff. Yeah, as a bit of an overflow, but things related to the bike as well. And then this is gonna be where I park, like the Leica or the Volkswagen. 
and then this is going to be the same. So we'll have a Leica there, Volkswagen there, and I want to put <coughs> a storage shelf on that wall, and then some wardrobes over here. So if we've got the Volkswagen parked here, yeah, then I'll have uh, Volkswagen doors and stuff in the storage shelf, and then wheels, and a jack and some vehicle repair kits and the alternators and batteries and stuff like that stuff you need for it and then the same thing over here just t tailored towards the Leica so all the Leica doors and the Leica alternators and all that kind of shit in here yeah and I can take all of that crap out and the wheels as well yeah because I've already got yeah I've already got a bunch of fucking alternators and wheels and everything all taking up fucking room in here yeah, if I could if I could get rid of if I could get rid of those alternators and we wheels already, then I'd have more than enough room to reorganise this a bit and you, you and and use that. It's just it just never ends. It never ends. The constant need for more and more storage. I don't remember the last time I got shot by a mech, to be honest. It's been ages. Yoss just got himself filled full of holes. Oh no, that's in the picking box, isn't it? Yeah, put that there. Booze. Painkillers. Energy drink. Orange juice. Gunpowder. Okay, that's for... Ranger that will put away. I need to top my food back up again. We can do that from the car box because we've got more than enough shit in there. I mean, shit, we've still got a whole bunch of stuff in the car itself that I haven't taken out yet. That needs to go away. That needs to go away. All of this needs to go in the weapons box. Well, I don't really need a baton, do I? That can fuck off. Then that can go there. I can put some of these nades here. Well, we've got three more nades. this wasn't this empty no it wasn't okay we'll put that in there
already filled some of these up, haven't I? Yeah, that's got the carbon broadheads in it. What's that got in it? Okay, we'll put that there. Who's that? Who's at my door? <laughs> Just uh, giving your car a car wash, man. That's all right. The rain will take care of it. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's going on? Look at this place. Are you going to build a house on top? Yeah, yeah. So it's like a barbecue area? Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I'm going to have like, what is it? The tables and benches going around the outside. And then probably like when they, when they finally add the new cooking things. Then I'll have like the different, the different methods of cooking over here. So like the big barbecue and the medium one, and maybe something else. Like if if we have to use one of the hot plates to cook with the pots or something, I don't know. Then I'll have that over here. And basically the, basically the same thing going around the edge here. So there'll be like benches and tables going around the edge. So you'd be like sitting here with a view out over the edge, with, with your food, and then the house will be upstairs. Nice. That's a lot of work, man. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> are you leaving this wood, or are you gonna do this concrete too? I'd I'd like to take it all the way up to maybe at least brick, if not cement. But the majority of it, I can't upgrade past this because they bug out. It's what I was talking about before. Like the, I the the frames, yeah, the support frames and the railings. I built the twig version all the way around, all the way around, and the majority of them I had to destroy because when I held F on the on the support frame to upgrade it, it was greyed out. It wouldn't let me, so I had to destroy the frame and the half wall and rebuild it just so that I could upgrade the frame to wood that it's at right now. So I, I basically the the support frames and the railings I basically built most of it twice just so I could get it upgraded to this point. But it's bugging out, and it won't let me upgrade a lot of it from this point further. Yeah, that's what happened to me, too. Like, I I upgraded the, uh, what is this, half wall first, and then it wouldn't let, it didn't have me the option to upgrade the pillars, but then I just uh, logged out and logged back in, and then I got the option back. Yeah, I can see, I can see the upgrade right now on some of them. Yeah, I can I can see the I can see the option to upgrade on all of them now actually. So I'm probably going to have yeah. to I'm probably going to have to give that a try as well to see whether logging out and logging in again helps cuz I wouldn't mind like the the half walls and the support frames I wouldn't mind taking up to brick and then the floor at least downstairs to metal and then the rest of it like the the, the house upstairs I'd just leave wood. I'd t I'd, I'd have that log yeah, I think log looks pretty good for a house. Oh yeah, for sure, for oh, yeah. sure. I don't think I'll, I think I'll just take mine to log and that'll be that. Maybe the foundation I'll put concrete, but that's uh, about it. Because, because the garage is already cement, like the bottom floor, I wouldn't mind, like I said, taking most of it to cement. And then the floor that we're standing on here, I'll take that to metal to make it look like a proper foundation and then the house is built on top of that above and that and I'll just leave that log. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that should look nice. I guess your friend died, huh? What well, yes, he died, did he? Oh I don't I don't know. Yeah, I think he said he oh, got yeah. killed by a mech or something. Yeah, yeah, no, he just wrote in chat. I don't I don't remember the last time I got hit by a mech to be honest. Hey, this doesn't have a lock on it. 
No, I know, but you can't get further. So uh, the, the, oh. the the other ones I've got locked. I just I just got three gold locks in the cargo drop. So uh, I'll lock these up, and then the whole thing will be locked up. Did you get any cars? Uh, no, not yet. Still just the still just the bike. I spent what is it the the what little time I was on for yesterday and the day before. I spent most of that just building what's here, so I don't, haven't really had time to go out looking for vehicles. Yeah, true. Yeah, I was upgrading that stuff yesterday. Well, here's the uh, asphalt. You only want one gold lock pick? Well, no, you said you give two if it's damaged. damaged. No, if it's a hundred percent, I'll give you two. If it's this, I'll give you one. Oh, the oh the gun. Oh, uh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll repair it. No problem. Not that I really need it, but you know, I got tons of weapon repair. It just feels a lot better trade. <laughs> No, no, I get you, I get you. I've got weapon repair kits coming out of my ass as well. There you go. Lovely, thank you very much, sir. Awesome. Pleasure doing business with you. Just going to get back to sorting this shit now. We can use that on the pistol. That's nice. Let's get that up to a hundred, shall we? Why not? We've still got plenty of uses on that other one. Yeah, still got 43. Where's my picking box? Picking. Okay, that can go there. We've got some on us now, but I do need more. What in what? Whatever happens. Uh, I'm not touching these. This, this, this is for the kill box. This is for the kill box. Everything that I'm d doing now, like going out to look for more screwdrivers, I'm doing so I have a little bit of a backup to pick at the uh, the med lockers. I don't want to. I don't want to use those up. The hell? Where the fuck did the card card go? I tried putting it there and didn't realise that there wasn't enough room. And then when I let go, it just up and disappeared. Where is it? There it is.
Speaking of which, we should take a minute. Well, no, no, no. Well, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Let's take care of these fucking boxes. Yeah, otherwise, by the time we come to go somewhere to do something, we're still not going to have... We're going to be stuck in the same problem that we don't have space to put anything that we pick up. That I was holding on to to put into the water box, so we'll put that in there. there. That can go in the build box. <sighs> Don't have room there. got to get this out of the way otherwise we don't have room for anything it'll be a good eye it'll be a good, well we'll keep that in there we'll sell that we'll sell that it's not like I really need it we might as well we might as well make a trip to the trader is that done Put that back there. We don't have any extra s screwdrivers to speak of. Ah, the metal box. Yes, the elusive metal box. That's still full of shit. There's the locks. Okay, let's go and lock up the extra doors that we need to. That's locked, that's locked, that's locked. Like so, now we're secure. Where was it? This, yeah. And we got a shitload of food to put away. cargo drops worth of food and we don't have any absinthe on us either do we oh we do we do for once okay so even our food and meds box is fucking getting full again soda pop soda pop soda pop milk we hold on to that because we'll eat it food than we can shake a stick at. How are we doing? Are we just fine for fucking food and drink? We don't need to... We don't need to drink. I 
I don't really need two nades either. Put that down there. Okay. What's all this? Metal, cell. Okay, this is the stuff that needs to go back in the car. We've got, well, we've, we've got nowhere to, we've got nowhere to put those things until we expand on the storage. Yeah, so we'll just leave this here. The car box. So annoying. So much crap. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I think now, now, no, I'm uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build the, I'm gonna build the wardrobes in the other units. I have, I have to, I have to. We've just got so much stuff. I need to separate this shit. I need to. I just can't fucking take this anymore. We, every, every time we go out, coming home is an absolute fucking nightmare to put our stuff away because we've got nowhere to fucking put it. I need to separate out all of this stuff in a proper way. Yeah, we've got storage shelf goes on this wall, like I said. We can get it to line up. That all right? That'll do. Yeah, let's move these boxes out of the way. Yeah, then we put wardrobes on this wall. Like so. Yeah, so we can put the bigger ticket items over here. And we've got wheels and we've got alternators and batteries. <coughs> and that can all come out of the other fucking cupboards that are over there. Put that all in here and, uh, for, for at least the Likers. And then do the same thing over there for the stuff that goes to the Volkswagens. And then we free up a whole bunch of space in boxes and, and wardrobes in the other side. And we don't have to worry about, oh, are we going to be able to fit this, that, or the other. So we need nails, metal, toolboxes. Nails, toolboxes, and planks. I say nails because the bolts we need for other things. And the nails, we've still got more than enough of. Let's grab all of that. Yeah, so even doing this, we free up a whole bunch of space in the materials box for ourselves. Just building these things. That's bolts. That's nails. Yeah. Uh, toolbox. We put that in the build box. Use up the improvised ones in there. We use up the improvised ones first, and then we want to grab we need all metal. Oh, these guys are sitting in the fucking darkness. What an idiot. Just a second. Let me put... The 
filter on so it looks a little brighter. And we have lights. Uh, where were we? Okay, so we can put the rest of this away. I thought we were going to need way more... Way more nails. I'm just going to... See, it's so annoying. Look at that. All of these were full stacks. And it takes like a couple from every single stack you have in your inventory instead of just taking everything it needs from one stack. They were all stacks of 10. Okay, let's chop. I'm all over the show today. I wanted to grab these so you guys can at least see something. That's better. This does have fuel in it, doesn't it? Fucking seeing things. I'm seeing things. I thought there was a fucking puppet there. Yeah, it's got fuel in it. An empty chainsaw costs eight bucks to fill up. Hey, Phil. Welcome. Afternoon. Two, seriously, two. Did we not leave any out here? No? Okay. Well, I'm not starting the fucking chainsaw up again for two logs, two planks. There we 
go. At fucking last. Okay, so we want. Where's metal? Where's this, the Mr. Metal box? Oh, we changed the name, didn't we? It was Doors and Misk. Yeah, okay. Let's grab that. We'll use that to transfer shit. Okay. So... What a pin ass. I didn't notice that was back to front. Never mind. I'm not rebuilding it now. We're going to put the doors in here. Yeah, like so. Doors, we can probably fit like two or three. That's the problem, they're so fucking big. Yeah, the way, the, given, given the way the storage shelf sits in the world, yeah, that it's long, it would make more sense to me that they make it, you know, let's say like yay deep, like that, but then have it be really wide, yeah, and then just have a, or even if it, even if it was, even if it was just this deep, but then have it like, whoa, proper wide, so then you could fit different things in there in a different scheme, so there'd be a point to making a shelf contra a wardrobe. That's, the only reason I made this is because I seem to remember this being a lot deeper, but this is basically the same amount of storage as a fucking wardrobe. And I could have put three wardrobes in this amount of space. Never mind. It's there now. Yeah, and then this is going to be... This is going to be the Leica. No, fuck it. This is going to be the all the vehicle parts that we have at the moment. Just so that I can fucking get them out of my other storage. Yeah, then that goes there. That goes in the storage shelf. Yeah, batteries can go over there. Where are you? There you are. Come with me. Where is it? Tools. Yep, lovely. Alternators. Wheels. Wheels. Jack. Batteries. Is that it in here? That's it. Okay, lovely. Materials box. What do we have taking up space here? Batteries. We've got a door. Another alternator. Yeah, will that fit in there still? It will. Lovely. Okay, which one's which? That's the batteries. Okay. So we put the batteries in there. Like so. Wheels in there. Put the alternators with the batteries. Jack in there as well. Alright, one more round. Is there anything else left in here? Nothing there. I didn't put anything in the weapons box, did I? No materials. That's all of that. Yeah, see, now we can actually put things where they're fucking supposed to go, so we're not wondering where the fuck things are. Jack can go in there. We'll leave we'll leave that there.
feels good to actually have some space. Yeah, spread out a bit properly. Now we're going to sell that. Yeah, then the chainsaws can go in the toolbox because it's a fucking tool. Yeah, and we still have room. That's supposed to go in the tools box, but it doesn't because that was full already. We only need one jack in the car. We can put some of these in there as well. We only need to hold on to a couple of batteries at a time. In case we need it while we're out and about. Now let's call it one. got a bunch more room in the car but well, actually we can even put more of these in there we've got far too fucking many it's not like the, it's not like we need these while we're out and about at the moment because the vehicle damage is turned off the only thing i need these for is disassembling cars or putting batteries in if i find another car while i'm out and about yeah so the car box is done You come with me. That's batteries and alternators. That was wheels. We put the car jacks in there as well, didn't we? Then we can put these in with the wheels. I'm not going to organise these right now. Yeah, I'm just chucking shit as it, as it falls. I just want to get them out of the other boxes at last. <coughs> yeah, that's that. Are you empty? You are now empty. Okay, so you can go back to being a metal box for when we're out and about. Yeah, we'll put that in the car in a minute. All metal, still metal, build boxes, building supplies, logs, food, picking, that goes in the car. Ah! The cell box is still full of fucking shit. I had a feeling we'd forgotten something. Well, why don't we just drag the cell box there, and then once it's empty, we can put it in the car. Okay. Let's name it so we can fucking keep track, shall we? Wheels. Batteries. Wheels. Alternators go with the batteries. That we want to sell. And that, uh, and that. Uh, we've got more than enough chainsaws. Don't need more. Another door, which doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, if they made this... if it, Given the, the, the amount of resources you need, like more resources you need to make the storage shelf, and it not being any deeper, they could at least make it a little wider. Yeah? If you could... If you could get a door in here on its side and then be able to put a bunch more in 
it would actually be semi-useful, yeah? But it's basically the same size as a wardrobe, and you can fit three doors inside. So I would have been... I would have been better off just making a bunch of wardrobes on that side. Then, if I put them on their side, then I would have been able to fit, what, one, two, three, four, five, at least six wardrobes. Yeah, that's 18 doors. But as it stands, I can only fit three doors in the same space. Uh, it doesn't change the fact that we've still got one door left. I guess that's going to have to go there then, isn't it? Yeah, we're selling that because we've got so many of them. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. And that. I didn't put that in there by mistake, did I? No. Okay, good. And that, that just stays there because we don't have room for it elsewhere. It's always one, isn't it? It's always one. There we go. that it finally let's see what space so we've still got space in the tools box some picking we've got more than enough this goes in the car let's get it out of the way now before it starts pissing me off cell box is now clear so that can go in the metal box is clear so that can go in and that's it, isn't it? We've got more space, way more space to eventually reorganize the materials box a little. We've still got a bit of space left in the tools, so we can reorganize that a little. Not doing any of that now, I'll do that off off stream. Just want to make sure we have room for, like, we go out now to go and pick up shit. Want to make sure we've got somewhere to put it. Okay, uh, let's get the traders out of the way. Get the traders out of the way, make a little bit more gas money. Not that we need it. And a little bit more space. Gas price is going down. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to I'm going to have to give it a test. But I've got a sneaking suspicion that the gas price goes down as your driving skill goes up. Yeah, cuz the car was easily like only had a quarter of a tank if that yeah, and I remember, I remember the car being slightly, have, have, what is it, uh, having slightly more fuel in it and costing more to fill up previously. I've got a sneaking suspicion that the price of the fuel goes down as your driving skill goes up, but I, I you know, I don't want to say anything definitively. It's just anecdotal. It needs a bit of a test. But I could, I could, I could have sworn that I paid more for less fuel like a couple of days ago. Oh, 
off to the trade as it is. Forward them, looking forward to them putting the um, last few modular car bits in, like the roof rack and uh, the big snow plow looking thing on the front with spikes and turning the, turning the vehicle collisions back on again. I'll be running over pockets right, left and centre. and players and more hop 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 hop. Bear with us, stick around for a bit if you're interested in uh, seeing a kill box. I'm going to go to the trader and then spend a little time unboxing bobby pins and making picks and then we should be heading out to the heading out to the bunker in B1 to get the kill box out of the way. Ranger. Excuse me, that was a little bit too much handbrake and not enough power.
I need to make a note of what the uh, what the trader charges for certain vehicle stuff. Actually, let's go to uh, let's go and see Common first. I guarantee you, I'm well armed. How much, mate? How are you doing? Hello. We've got some lovely goodies for you today. No, don't put it on. Just put it in my bag. It's still got the gun in it, hasn't it? Yeah, okay. Uh, gas mask. We've got that. We've got a lovely crossbow and, and that. Is that it? That's it for here. That and that. That thing that registered. That is two and a half grand. <laughs> Kidding. Me. Nobody cares. That's not bad. Okay, and then all of the rest of that stuff goes to the general store, which is Fat Man. Uh... We don't have to drag the box all the way there. Well, I'm not going to sell that actually. I've got to take that out at home. See you later, mate. Put that back. Then we go and see Fat Man. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse around. Let's see what you have. And another two grand. That's lovely. Laters. Do I, do I need anything? I've got crackers. No, I don't need anything. Later, mate. Okay, let's say hello to Ivan. Hello. And... Wow, he charges nearly four grand for a like Leica alternator. 70 grand for a car. God, I could fucking sell cars for 50 grand and st it'd still be totally worth it for people. As far as other stuff goes, doors, bumpers, yeah, I'll call, we'll, we'll call it a grand. Alternator we can easily charge two grand for, and the car itself, if we try, if we sell for 50, that's still... What a, do you want? A lot under... I'm checking out your prices, mate, because I'm about to undercut the fuck from you so people come to me instead of you. Because you've got a bad attitude and bad prices. Yeah, so I can charge two grand for an alternator, a grand for doors, like 500 for bumpers, and 50 for a car. And let's say it's the same. Let's say the same for the for the wheels, a grand a wheel, and they're still getting a good deal. Okay, and then for the Volkswagen. It's even more expensive. 
it's even more expensive. Basic. I'll just have blanket prices. I'll just have blanket prices. A grand a door, two for an alternator, 50 for any vehicle, grand a wheel, and then you're still getting 50, 500 for 500 for bumpers, and then you're still getting a you're still getting a good deal. What do you want? Nothing, nothing, mate. I just checked out all your prices. No one's gonna come and buy anything from you anymore. Yeah, you got a bad attitude. You might want to put that cigarette out and talk to people with some fucking reverence. Thank you very fucking much. Yeah, and within those within that price frame we can set up like a car would definitely be a kill box card. If it's got at least fifty hours on it and you, you, you don't want to do a kill box and you find a card, I totally do a one for one trade kill box card for a car. Yeah, and it could for any vehicle. Yeah, oh yeah. The fucking motorcycle parts, I forgot that. No loiter. Either buy or get lost. Yeah, I'll be quick, mate. Okay, so 500 for a wheel and let's say 30 for a dirt bike. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm going to advertise it. Oh, money-wise, I wouldn't pay money. As, as far as I'm concerned, a killbox car doesn't have significant enough because because all we because all we're getting from it is the is the loot to sell because there's no point in getting the C4 stuff. Yeah. Monetarily, it doesn't do you it doesn't hold massive value to me. So, if I happen to have a car or or a, a, a bike or something on offer. Then I'll I'll do one for one a kill box card for a thing. But if you happen to have, you know I'm not gonna if people come if people uh, think that I'm gonna trade them every single kill box card they come across for something then they've got another thing coming. If I happen to have a car and you need a car, then I'll say look go out and pick yourself up a kill box card and then, and then we'll trade. But I'm not gonna. I'm not going to take in kill box cards from every Tom, Dick and Harry. There's no point. One, we can't get enough screwdrivers to keep up. And all I'm going to be doing is selling the stuff. And at this point, we've got, I've got more than enough money that I don't really care about it. In, it all in all. Because, I mean... Even if you don't have particularly high strength, and you don't even have A0. That's the exact opposite end of the fucking map from where I am. Yeah, even if you're, you're, you're fresh in and you want a vehicle. Yeah, you're either going to have to spend a shitload of time searching for one. Or if you manage to get lucky and find yourself a crowbar. Even if you don't have the screwdrivers. Yeah, you can go around the police stations and other places. Uh, and, and, and happen across a kill box card with any luck. Yeah? And for a vehicle, I'll take it off your hands. Okay, now to go home and unbox bobby pins like crazy. No, I'm not going. I'm not going. I could make it there in time. But I've still got all of the... I've still got all of the bobby pins to un unbox and make the uh, make the lock picks. Oh, Ramesh, where's the bank? We passed it on the way in, didn't we? Yeah, here it is. Let's go say hello to Ramesh. Deposit our monies. Hello, Greetings, Ramesh. Valued customer. Deposit. Lovely. Yes. No. Okay, we've got nearly 30k. Pleasure is 
Yeah, even if I even if I hadn't spent a bunch, what is it, nearly nine k on the armor on the car, and roughly I don't know another two k ish on general shit like cheat like cheeseburgers and ammo and things like that. Even if I hadn't spent all of that money, I've been on a week. And I've sold some of the gear from a kill box and shit loads of other stuff, including a bike, for like ten grand. I still d wouldn't. I still don't have enough money to out and out buy even a motorcycle. So like the the amount of money that you can get from the traders contra what a vehicle costs is is two ends of the scale. You really have to either go out and and uh, and and find a working one, or you've got to put in a lot of effort if you want to out and out buy a car. So it's definitely a potentially much much better shortcut to go out looking for a killbox car to trade for one from me. back in the car, didn't we? Yeah. Oops. I need to start thinking about what I'm going to order myself for food-wise. I never did make myself that sandwich for breakfast and now it's already half past one in the afternoon. I don't like eating too early because I'm during the week I'm used to I'm used to only eating once a day. Yeah, working during the nights from like ten to eight. I wake up sometime about five o'clock in the afternoon. And then the first time I'll have something to eat is about nine PM, nine ten PM. And I won't eat I won't eat again until I go to I won't eat again. Go, go to bed sometime after 8 a.m. Oh. A bit of, quite a bit of lag there. So, if I eat now, then I'm, gonna, I'm only going to get hungry again. Come 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. I don't like, I don't like going to, I don't like going to bed hungry. I don't like going to bed full either, it's fucking terrible, but if I go to bed hungry, when I wake up, I'm going to be absolutely vanished. So we'll kind of split the difference. I'll have a snack or something to keep myself, to tide myself over until like the late afternoon, and then I'll have something, and it's best of both worlds. Just snacking on some chips right now. Good thing you can't hear it. <laughs> it's my favourite fried chicken flavour. Oops, is that the way? No, that is not the way. Can you show me the way? Do you know the way? Oh, great. It's a good thing this... Oh, bollocks.
keeps up with my driving. I should probably do one or the other. Drive or snack. I'll tell you something funny, uh, or interesting, it's not funny, it's funny as in like strange. My ex spends most of her time with her mother, like halfway across the country. And it's slightly further north than we are, where we are, but not, not quite much, just slightly. And yesterday they had a shitload of snow fucking beginning of April and they still got like proper snowfall the climate really doesn't know what the fuck to do with itself anymore we don't have four seasons anymore we've got two we go from winter to summer yeah and then from summer back to winter again like the crossover period is like two max three weeks where, you know, at the beginning of the month you could still be running around outside in fucking shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops and by the end of the month there's fucking snow on the ground. And it just goes two ways. Summer, winter, summer, winter. There's no fucking spring or, or, or autumn anymore. You just go from sweating your tits off to freezing your bollocks off. go to the picking box and we'll empty out a couple of couple of boxes of bobby pins what's that build and logs let's chuck that out of the way shall we it's not in the middle of the room picking what did you say like 50 60 or so because I've got one screwy of 30, one of 20, and I've got two more with 15 on it. I'll bring one of those. I wouldn't mind keeping the other one for at least med lockers or something. <coughs> and we've got four advanced picks on us already. That'll do. And then we've got one. Let's empty the garbage. Okay. Let's empty the ones that are already started, shall we? Then the only thing we have in the box is nice, fresh, full boxes. Like so. What did you say? Medical gloves? We've got three pairs of medical gloves and then two pairs of rubber gloves. Grab that. I need my respirator. And I need that. We'll do a little bit of practice on that once we're done. And then let's get to opening these, shall we? Thing. Yeah, that's only six.
Like the only reason the only reason left that I really care about going to the cargo drops is the same as you at this point. The possibility of getting yellow yellow screwdrivers, the crowbar and the screwdrivers, or the advanced pick advanced lock picks. Like the vast majority of everything else I just throw into the cell box and get rid of it. It's why I started today, I wanted to do a run on all of the, t I'll go on the town, so I start from here, I go to the B2 town, and then <coughs> work my way down, go to Zaton, go to Rogoznika on the opposite side, and then go to the, well, I haven't been yet, but I'd like to go to the motorcycle track, and then I'm on my way back, go uh, to Novigrad, then to the petrol station on that side, carry on down, go to the airfield, and then work my way up to go to the to the the junkyard, and then come home, and then basically just keep doing that round and round. But the farthest I've ever got is get is to Rogoznika, and then a cargo drop comes along, like halfway across the the map, and then I go to that, and then by the time I try, by the time I get back on that loop. I make it as far as Rogoznika again, and then another cargo drop comes in. So I haven't, I haven't even been able to do an entire loop of what I wanted to do today, because the cargo drops keep coming in. Okay, let's start making these into this. You can only make you can only make you, you can only unbox so many before they don't they, they stop showing up on the vicinity thing. It doesn't it doesn't like it when there's a bunch of shit on the ground. It's still physically there, it just doesn't show up. Alt C makes it so much faster to make to make them to craft them. You don't have to right click and then scroll the mouse to craft. As soon as it's done with one, you just spam Alt C to make the next one. until it won't make any more and then we just bundle. How many more have we got to go? Oh, quite a few.
isn't good for your awareness as well. Doing a lot of this. Speaking of which, where is my awareness? It's halfway to medium. Okay, so we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, we've got 80, 80 bundled, we'll put these away, still got a bunch of started boxes. Where's the card? There's the card. Chuck that in there. Okay, let's... Let's give this some practice, shall we, while we're waiting for Ranger. track of it. Ah, uh, ran out of time. <whistles> Clicked in the wrong place. That was the right one. I just spent extra time looking at that fucking rat's nest. Never mind.
spent an extra second there because I was clicking away at that top one and missed the wire. one above it wasn't it yeah idiot which one was that oh it's that third from bottom Yeah, we're going to be all right. <coughs> okay, so... Gloves, screwdrivers... And put that there. We got... So that 30, 50, got 65 screwdrivers. Are you bringing any screwdrivers at all? I've got another one with 15 uses on it, but I want to keep some for a cargo drop. Which basically, this is all I have left. got advanced picks, plenty of normal picks. Let's make sure we're not hungry or thirsty. We need to take, take another P though. That's a nice equal balance of everything. Carbs, protein, fat. We could do with a little bit more carbs, seeing as we're so high on protein to begin with. We'll have a bit of that bread. We can get a little bit more in there, can't we? There we go. Like so. We'll drink up one of those. I want to make sure we don't go too stomach full, otherwise we'll just puke. Go on, give us a burp. There you go. That'll do, and then we'll take a shit. If it'll let us. We should have no problems at all. Are you ready? Do you want to go soon or you still have something to do?
Oh yeah, you said I have to restart. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I remember, I remember. What's that? That's two o'clock my time. That's just a couple of minutes away. Okay. Well, I've got all of this shit that I need, so I'm ready. Put that in our pants. We're not going to need that in there. Or that. Uh, let's make sure all of our guns... Yeah, let's, let's do that while we wait, shall we? And make sure all, all of our guns are properly loaded and repaired. Grab that and that. I know that needs reloading. Mark 18 would be nice in the kill box, if nothing else. I prob I wouldn't hold on to the Mark 18 itself, but at least then I'd have a proper factory silencer for this thing. That's loaded and fixed. That's fixed. These are all fully loaded, yeah. And that is... <coughs> Pardon you. How's our pistol doing? Our pistol needs to get repaired. This needs reloading as well, if I remember correctly. Yep, that was almost out. I think... Instead of that, am that loose ammo... As a just in case, we've got more block mags here. We'll grab these and we'll load them up. That's seven mags of pistol ammo, two mags of VHS ammo. It's more than enough. Yeah, okay, cool, yo. I was thinking of restarting the stream myself and renaming it to Killbox to maybe get some more attention, but I think I'll leave it. Okay, so we're not going to need that. We're not going to need that. Oops, I left that in there. Let's put that away. Don't need that. Don't need that. I think I saw a wolf over there. Ah, there's a lot of them. There's, it's a hot spot. Wolves and bears, they're always around here. I'll give you the, uh, I'll give you the gear. I've got more bobby pins bundled up if you need it, but that's that basically covers the screwdrivers that I gave you.
Yeah, we shouldn't, uh... I've got... Hopefully I've got... we won't need that much, but... Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. I've, I've got another three... I've got another three bundles, a box of safety pins, and then a, and one of these, the the middle the middle style lockpicks, the metal one, with four uses on it. They seem to be... These advanced lockpicks seem to be... I can't move them, but... I, um... I'll just give them to you, and then when I, if I need it for the silver lock, I'll just pick them up from you. Okay. Yeah, because then you don't have to select the other one separately. When you've got, when you've got it in your inventory, it's always wanting to use that instead. Yeah. Do you wanna hop on Discord? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. There we go, that's easier. Yeah, it should be alright. I'll, uh, sometimes it, uh, like, I don't know what it was when I actually was streaming that shit yesterday. It really, for, for some reason, it just really messes with your frames or something. Or no, 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 it's, it's no, for sure. Um, uh, I mean, people do... Uh, as much as they possibly can t to maximize frames. Sorry, I'm just getting a little bit of a weird feedback now I'm in Discord. I think. Is that better? Yeah. yeah. No, on my end, I was hearing... I'm hearing myself again. The fuck? It's weird, I didn't have it yesterday. Or when it, whenever it was the last time we went. Anyway. But if I, if I don't talk quite so loud, then I don't get the feedback. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no, what I was saying about the frames. People do whatever they can to get the frames. I mean, they even... The reason they uh, lie on the ground, looking at the, looking at the lockers and what have you, is... Because the the less it has to render, yeah, the 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 less work the game does, that you know, your computer does, and yeah. the 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 better the better the frame rate. I mean, some some people will even go as far as having like a preset graphic setting where they lower everything to like really low to like super maximize it. So it's for sure you're probably having more issues while you were streaming it because your frame rate was a lot lower. I, I, I think I'm probably having issues myself because of the frames because a lot of times I don't do I don't do anything in particular to try and maximize it like I've got my graphics set to what the Nvidia the GeForce experience recommends which is like maxed out basically everything 
and uh, and um, I don't even I don't even lie on the ground or anything. I just stand or crouch in front of the box and pick that way. So if I did if I did more to maximise my frames, like turn the graphics down and 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 other things, then I might I might get better better results. But with the things set they are the, the way they are at the moment. It's not not I think so it's good. Just like uh, for me, I just lie on the ground and I try and look at the ground, so it's not so much shit in the background. Because I've done kill boxes with people, and they uh, they're like moving around behind you, and you can see that, and it distracts you from kind of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. It's D, it is D1, isn't it? Yeah, D1. That's easy enough. I know how to get in and out of that one. D1, D1, D1. Oh, that's where I lure the lure the mech away and then run in. Okay. Yeah, you'll have to follow me tightly. Okay, Koki. Like, where you're doing it right now... It's probably it's probably super affecting your your, your frames because yeah. you've got all of the foliage in view that's moving around. Plus, it's morning, so the sun is just coming up, and then it, the light conditions are constantly changing. Yeah. So, like, if, if you went inside and you were laying on the ground looking at the floor, you'd have a lot better lot better luck at it. Yesterday I wasn't taking any, like, when my gloves got to zero, I wasn't taking any damage at all from the loss. That was fucking weird. Come on, who you know it? I'll just throw myself together a quick, simple bow. So I don't have to take the, uh, so I can leave the compound bow outside. I just leave it on the ground. You, the 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 lock picking board. What's that? You mean the lock picking board? Yeah, I'll just leave it on the ground. I'll, I'll grab it up. I was just making myself a simple craft crafted bow. I'll just run at home. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need all of that. We definitely don't need that or that. Put that there. Don't really need the compass or the bank card right now. We'll put that on. Our backpack is basically empty. I can put that and that on because we're going into the snow anyway. Yeah, that's good. You can get in, I left the door open. <laughs> I made sure to t take care of that earlier myself. <laughs> Don't want to be shitting myself in the middle of the kill box. <laughs> well, I bring a shitty stab proof vest that I bought at the police station. Find a vest or anything in there I can wear out. Plus I have a extra number two slot. Okay. Yeah, yeah I just make a I make a crafted bow. So I just I shoot the puppets on the way in with the bow, and then I can it's basically a throwaway item, so I can just leave it there. So I have a number two slot as well.
Okay, Koki. I go back. It's all right. But let me let me let me check real quick. I might have an extra one in my car box. No, I sold everything. Okay, it's all right. We'll go back. I've put mine on already. I brought the respirator this time instead of the gas mask, so I don't have that. So I'm not hot and I don't have that stupid overlay on my screen. Out or do I have to open the door? Oh, you can't get out. I'll open the door for you so you can get back in again. <laughs> oh, do you have a painkiller? Uh, I should do. Yeah, but they're at like 8%. I don't know how much use they're going to be. Yeah, yeah, I've got a full, I've got a full blister. They just durability wise they're only at like eight percent but the meds lose their durability super fast yeah I put them in a uh, a backpack and then I put them in the locker <laughs> Oh, what, once I once I put them in a box, they usually seem to be all right. But I mean, when, when you when you take them out and you bring them with you, yeah, like when you have them on your person, they seem to degrade way, way, way faster.
Okay, cool. Oh, I've still got the one that we got from last time. I haven't used it yet. Yeah, it's still in good condition. I mean, we can grab it if we want. Yeah, yeah. It's small. It's it, yeah, yeah. It's small and easy. I used to. I lived in the, the town right next to it in Gorica. I went, uh, or sorry, in uh, Brigoria, the, the town just underneath it. I went to that bunker a hell of a lot. I know that one inside and out. Well, I lived in Gorica as well. That's all the way over on the other end of the other end of the sector. And the bunker in D2 is a lot closer to that. Like the debunkers are the ones I've been to the most. D0, D1, D2 is usually what I do in order. Because they're super easy to get into. D0 is pretty big. And they've got, they, 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 well, i found they tend to have decent stuff in them. Not here, but in general. <laughs> Uh, 50, 50. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. I know that's definitely a massive help. I've, I, I've done entire cargo drops with way lower strength, where it takes well over a minute to open each locker. When I, I've, I've had situations where I got, I got lucky. Well, I, when I do, right when I spawn in, I got lucky and found a crowbar and a, a cargo drop happened to drop nearby. So I just ran and did it with the, the whole thing with the crowbar. And it's still totally doable, even with like three strength, but it takes forever. It's like a, it's like a minute and a half for each locker. And I had to repair that. I had to repair the crowbar in, in between because it takes up something like 25% damage. So you, you can open like three of them, and then you have to repair it, and then you can open the other three. Bring what? Oh. <laughs> and that's why I go to. That's why I go to the junkyard so much. All, all of the yellow screwdrivers I found recently, I found there, and I got like all all of the screwdrivers I gave you, I got all of those from the junkyard. But the screwdrivers definitely are rarer than usual. Like I've noticed that with myself as well. Especially the, especially the yellow ones, especially the yellow ones. Like even on the meat grinder, I, where the where the loot is lower, I'd always have a surplus of probably like 200-ish screwdrivers. All, always, always.
This is where I lived on the Condand, just to the left. Yeah. Oh, I love it in the snow. I love it. There's so so few people actually live in the snow, even on a high pop server, like on the on the rake it server. When I first started playing uh, PVP servers, I, I I played on the rake it server, and that place is full pop basically all the time. You know, it, it minimum like the minimum players it goes down to is like 40, and that's that's hard, and it and it's an 80 slot server, and that's like the dead that, in, the, in the dead of night. And even on those high pop servers, I'd live in the snow and I'd barely ever see anyone. It's weird, when you get out, you just pop out. The door doesn't open. There should be a C4 puppet in here somewhere. There usually is. Give it a minute. So the the way I usually go into this place, where are you? Oh, oh, I couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah. If you can grab it, I only saw one. Thank you very much. So the way I normally go into this place is I go over here and distract the guy. And then he'll walk up this way. So if you, you you go wait at the other end of the building just so he can't see you, I'll distract I'll distract him to come this way, and then we can run in when he's here. Yeah, wait until he wait until he's turned the corner, because he'll. Yeah, now go. There we go. I'll wait and close the door because then it makes getting out easier. Yeah, and then more often than not, there's a puppet behind here. But there isn't this time. Oh. oh, you can you can leave that one. And there's sometimes a, a C4 puppet through here. Doesn't seem to be this time. There's more often than not one behind there. If I remember correctly, the kill box is this way. Oh no, this is this is the. <laughs> no, this is where the this is where the ladder is. I, I've, I've yeah, got. Is it? No, I, c I could have sworn it's. Is it? Up? Yeah, it's it's further in. going to be some more dudes in here. There's going to be a dude behind here. shortcut to the opposite side. 
there's going to be dudes here as well. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said this. I said this, dudes. You okay? Is down here. Okay, I'll leave the bow behind and the arrows. Let me grab the. What does my dude look like with a balaclava and a respirator on? <laughs> he, lo he looks like some. Glasses? Yeah, looks like, <laughs> like some crazy weirdo, like futuristic soldier. But my guy, or your guy? Oh. Oh, I'm nearly at 5 dexterity. I'm only at like 8 kilos and 12% body reserve. It can happen, it can happen. I mean, I had the same thing. I mean, sometimes when... Sometimes when I go for the med lockers, yeah, I'll get it first time even with a normal lock pick. And then other times I'll go through like a dozen fucking advanced picks. It's, you know, it's just one of those things. It's weird for me. I still really haven't got the proper feel for the lock picking, so I'm all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I know for sure. I can throw you off. feels weird not having anything in my hiking backpack because I've usually got like a crowbar, a saw, my drinks, my compass and like a whole bunch of other stuff so like I'm 
probably about a third of my hiking backpack is taken up with stuff that I carry with me everywhere. And then coming in here when I've got fuck all, it feels weird. <laughs> That's everybody that I... Everybody stream that I watch, like Sai, yours, a couple of other people, like there's so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like when I'm when I'm on the go, the crowbar and the saw are basically like my go-to for everything. The saw is good for cu cutting up anything, even for planks, and then the crowbar is good for the lockers. And when you want to make a improvised toolbox, and that's your blunt instrument for making the toolbox. So with those with those two tools, you've got a whole bunch of bases covered. Yeah, you can chop up bodies with it, you can chop up rags with it. Yeah, then you don't need other things. With those two things, you've got a whole whole load of bases covered. You don't die too early and spoil our family telethon. Here are the rules. You've got 15 minutes to show us how skillful you are. Otherwise, the whole world will find out how your corpse looks like. up once. All done. Where are you? Okay, I'll keep watch here. Killbox is brought to you by the Tech One Corporation. It's getting a bit boring. Here, have a bit of entertainment. This has AK-15. 
That's nice. Drop you some advance if you want. That's alright dude, just chill. It's no problem. We'll get through it. Still still nine and a half minutes left. It's good. MP5. Alright, everyone. That was sweet. That was fast. Yes, indeed. There we go. And another MP5. <laughs> you got you got it already, have you? <laughs> Another SVD. What's up? Yeah, yeah, I went through those already. Yeah, give it a whirl. I mean, if you don't get it, then you don't get it. Uh, I mean, it's fair enough. I mean, you're okay to give it a whirl. If you've still got the supplies, I don't mind. You're okay. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. You want to go? Okay. 30 seconds left. At yeah, yeah, point, sure. You can Just either give get me a out second. or become oh. part of the decor. Our lasers tend to do that. Seconds more. Right Five, four, three, two, one. If I remember correctly, the medical is. It's in here. Yeah, here it is.
do the you want me to do the medical one first? Or what? Oh, uh yeah, you can try you can try that medical. <coughs> I thought you were gonna go straight for the who's him or what's it? Sweet. And oh it's bandages. You want that? No? Okay. Um I run out of space. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm good, I got it. And that was another good one. It, it didn't go as it, as quickly as the other one, but that was still smooth. I mean, we were we were out finished all of it basically. Uh, before the smoke even came in, so I mean, it's just and uh, okay, I didn't. I only messed up the the wires once this time, and I messed it up three times last time. This went a lot better. <laughs> you ran out of screwdrivers. Okay, that's all good. That's, that's, that's... No, no, it's all good. I mean, I've already got one. I've already the, the, I got one from the last time we came. I haven't I haven't sold that, and I was I was. Still holding on to it. Oh no no! I, I grabbed them already. I was able to rearrange some shit. Oh. Just gotta wait for this dude. Turns around right now, we can walk out. And then when he gets about halfway down, then we can run and get behind the house. Yep, he's gone. That's well. It was like 65. Do you, so, <laughs> well, what do you what do you want? We got the the no 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 seriously. I we got two M, the normal MP5 and the MP5K. I've already got an SVD all kitted out. There's an SVD and the AK15. If there's any AFL packs or ammo like that, well, other than that, which I don't. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking for screwdrivers and and hitting up bunkers a lot more for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need. And, Holy fuck! And it's unbelievable. If I come, uh, what is it? I normally I normally sell all the Asphal mags and ammo and everything I get. If I come across any, then I'll put it aside for you. I need to take this fucking. Why? I went. Why the fuck did he get in? Get the fuck out. That day, man. Just one of those fucking days. Okay, let me see. We've got cell. I'll put, get rid of the MP5s. And the attachments. Uh. MP5 attachment, like so. I think I'm going to hold on to the AK-15. I haven't used it a lot, but it's a half-decent gun. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And we've got some more stuff for the thing. Sorry, I just want to take this stupid huh. ghillie suit off, because the fucking dude is sweating his tits off. <laughs> What'd you say? Sixty? There was six. Sixty-five. There was one with one with thirty, one with twenty, and one with fifteen. And it it wasn't even like it was the first double rush that took the most. Uh huh. Like the silver done in one. The other two rushes were done. In 
if I could do a mini gun. I, I think you just have days. Just get things back to normal. Oh, yeah, the kill box probably boosted me quite a bit, huh? Okay, that's that's that. <laughs> I'll try. I was about to say. I'll, I was about to say. I'll try and make it a smooth ride. <laughs> right. Oh, no, I'm streaming it. I'm streaming. Yeah, yeah. One person. Hey, crazy. Yeah, crazy just turned up. You just, you just missed it. We did. We just finished the kill box. We came away with a nice, nice bunch of guns. Like, all in all, I don't think I've fired, I've even fired an in, entire magazine of ammo from my VHS. The pistol I use, the pistol I use quite a lot, but I haven't even emptied a, uh, an entire mag out of the VHS. I use the, I use the bow for like 99% of what I do. I kind of wish that they would increase the render distance for puppets because you can only see them up to 150 meters and I can get a headshot on a puppet with the compound bow at 150 meters but I can't I can't do anything further than that because they won't render in but I'll only be able to do that when I get a little stronger as well because the the compound bow is a lot better than a normal recurves and everything for like how strong it is and you don't have to compensate as much over distance but what is it I like right now I could probably use a recurve of about 80 pounds for a weight but if I go if I go to if I go to adjust the draw weight of the compound bow it'll only adjust to like 70 pounds for some reason it, it, it adjusts a little lower, but you need you need you need a bow of at least like 90 pounds to make those distant shots. Otherwise, the even even the carbon broadheads they start to stray quite a bit. But what like 90 pounds and above, like the 100, 110, 120 pound compound bow, you can you can make really accurate shots even like a, a hundred plus meters out. And uh, w w when it's got the silences on it, you try hitting so you try hitting a player that's like 200 meters away. They're not going to hear a damn thing. All they're going to hear is the, the the arrow hitting them. Nope. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I use the explosive arrows quite a bit, but on the normal bow. But I, I stopped doing it because the the way that the bow draws arrows from the quiver is a little unreliable. So, like, if it took the arrows from left to right then I'd keep my explosive arrows on the right and then my normal arrows on the left and then when I want when I want an explosive arrow then I'd knock it onto the bow separately 
and then I'd, uh, I'd be sure that the next arrow it goes to, to, to load would be a normal one again, yeah? It would take it nicely in order. The problem is, it doesn't. It, 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 it knocks them in some strange order. And more than once, I've nearly killed myself. Like, I, got, I, I uh, go to shoot at a puppet, and he starts running at me, and here's me thinking I've got a normal arrow knocked, and it's an explosive one, and a damn explosive arrow goes off like 10 meters away from me and I almost die. So if the, the, way, if the way that the, 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 the bow knocks the arrows was more reliable, then I'd, I'd probably carry, you know, like a stack of explosive arrows around with me all the time, just in case. But you, you can't really rely on how it's going to draw the arrows from the quiver. It's all buggy. Oh, I like that. But that's what I like about it. Yeah, yeah. It gives you, it gives you a lot better view on what you're shooting at, and you can zoom in even further. Like when you, when you, if you, if you uh, go into focus mode first, that already zooms you in, and then you zoom in with the compound. Then you can see things a lot better. So I've, like, I've gotten used to I've gotten used to using the bow. So I'll basically always, when I go to shoot, I'll always hold right click first and then go to shoot. So I'm getting the maximum zoom out of it. Plus that way, if you shoot something while you're in focus mode, then you you get five awareness as well. Otherwise, you just otherwise you just get some XP that goes to your archery skill. So whenever you do something in focus mode, it adds to your awareness. Is that better crazy? I turn the I turn the Discord slider up. Oh that's a shame. That's a shame. What what were you playing? You were here you were here in Scum or were you playing the other game? I hate those rocks. I always forget that they're there. Oh, you were on this server. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a shame. How oh, crazy she says that she was on a good run. They got like 1,800 bucks out of it. But on the way home, they died. Or she died. So I always try and remember to put all of my money in the in the bank at the trader whenever I'm finished. That way I've I've always got gas money, so I don't have to worry about that. I've always got money enough to respawn, and even if I can't get back to my body, then I'm not well. I'm losing my gear, but then I'm not losing any extra cash that I have on me. I'll just go to the trader and get him to issue me a new bank card. And, carry on. I really like the fact that they added the bank. Like, a lot of people complained about it, especially because, like, big clans in the past, you know, they'd have, like, millions of bucks stashed in, like, the areas around their bases, in buried boxes and what have you, and that would, that, and that would be one of the things that people would go after in a raid, and now all of that they just keep in the bank and no one can get to it. 
so the only thing you're really going to raid for is like guns and supplies and things and and for the you know for the thrill of the for the thrill of the raid but now for some reason it i think it's because the car's locked so when you go to exit it just pops you out of the car instead of opening the door you just you just sudden you just suddenly appear <laughs> Do you want to put your backpack down? That way I'll put your stuff in your backpack. Oh my... On the ground, so it doesn't... No, my backpack's full. It's okay, just chuck it on the ground. Oh. What? Oh, okay, sweet. We d you didn't even use everything. That's cool. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, that's that's a given. That's a given. Oh, that's cool. We'll do better next time, man. I'll do better next time. I think you only you only missed one, huh? Yeah, yeah, I only missed the last one. It was uh, bugs or windshield. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna wash them off for me, are you? <laughs> Dokie, mate. I'm just gonna put my shit away and then get back to uh, trying to loot up some screwdrivers. <laughs> That's definitely fun. And I have zero space in my weapons box. Do we have any room there? No, don't have any room there. That bag's full. Uh, I should really put a little bit more effort into building the rest of the house so I have space to put the loot. But it's odd, this time around we got the... Where did I put the MP5? Oh, I put the MP5s in the cell box. This time round, we got the normal MP5 and the MP5K. Last time, we got the silenced MP5 and the and the, and the stubby MP5K. It seems to like giving the MP5s right now for some reason. <coughs> uh, what do I want to do? I want to put those down here like so picking supplies and we're not going to need the rest of these we'll keep one and I'll grab my last black screwdriver we'll chuck gloves back they're all still in good condition I'm not going to need... Oh, I'll hold on to these. I'll hold on to these. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the picking box. I'm going to use the picking box for some room. I'll put all of the 9mm stuff in here. I don't want to like mix and match and get everything... Get everything all over the place. Like we'll put everything that's 9mm related in the picking box. And that will free up some space for other things. Because I don't use anything nine millimeter anyway. When we have, if we if we have an MMA tournament or maybe like a motorcycle race or something like that, then I'm gonna put the MP5s and the nine millimeter stuff in the prize bag in the prize bags. Give them away to someone. <sighs> Basically, at the moment, all I'm doing is collecting it all, and it's just taking up space. Hey, look at that, I've got nearly 20 boxes, 17 boxes of 9mm ammo. I never use this stuff. And we've got the MP5 mags. And 
9 mags. SF-19. Okay, where are you? AK-15. Magazines. Let's put the suppressor on it. It's not taking up room in the ACOG. Well, I don't know. I might want the ACOG on my gun. Yeah, I think I'll put the ACOG on my gun. And then we'll put the holographic on the AK-15. There we go. Yeah, and then we've got the mags for it and the ammo. And we can put the rest of this. Able to make enough room for the SVD, am I? We might as well put the SVD and the accoutrement in the in the picking bag as well, or the picking box. Any more SVD stuff? Yeah, there it is. And that uh, that's forty fives. Yeah, that's VHS Carbon Hunter. Okay, that'll do. Picking box. We got one MP5, two MP5. We've got a shitload of magazines for it as well. Okay, we've got SVD. Scope. Silent. So let's put the stuff on there, shall we? And then that's also set up and ready. Why won't it? Oh, because it's in the... Like so. I think I might, from this point forward... The only thing I'm going to hold on to out of the SVD stuff is the ammo. I've got three, so I've got eight magazines for the SVD. Four boxes of ammo. That's more than enough, and I've already got one up there anyway. Where did I put my gold card? I left that in here, didn't there it is. Okay, let's get this organized back, shall we? We've got our this and our that, and we've got our extra thing, and we've got... Oh, we need to take all of our shit off, don't we? I've still got my balaclava and scarf and everything on. I forgot, that's why I'm sweating like a pig. I'll jump out of the Discord. There we go. Yeah, so we've got two MP5s, a bunch of the... Uh, bunch of the... Attachments and a full ghillie suit to sell, which is pretty good. Probably like another four grand. Let's put the rest of this away, shall we? And then we can get back to our regularly scheduled programming of looking for screwdrivers. No, I reckon any 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 kill box that you come away from where you don't die, yeah, and you get and you get the stuff is a good kill box. 
Yeah, you've got better you've got better days and you've got worse days when it you know you take take a few more screwdrivers or a little bit more time and what have you. But any any time any time you come away in one piece and you've got a bunch of bunch of new gear, yeah, then as far as I'm concerned, that's a that's a good good kill box. Do I have extra 45s in the car? I do, don't I? Yeah, okay, we've got extra 45s and 5.56, five, so that's fine. Do we have something to drink? We've got water, but we'll fill that up. We've got plenty to eat. Our guns are all in working order. Might as well top off the arrows. If I can remember which fucking quiver that I put the arrows into. That's the carbon. That's the miscellaneous stuff. That's more carbon. I didn't realise I had that many carbon. Should I switch to using carbon for a while? I'm going to switch to using carbon. Then we'll take now we'll take the ones from the other one. That's full. Yeah, we'll take two stacks of carbon and then we'll put these away. I didn't I thought I thought it, I thought this was all the carbon I had. I forgot about the other I forgot about that other quiver full of carbon. Yeah, we've still got plenty of feathers and what have you to make other things. I wouldn't mind starting to use the, the, the engra engraved AK-47, but I don't have any mags for the AK-47. Hey, Becca. Welcome, mate. Sorry, I didn't notice you there. I'm just rambling on about what I've got in my boxes. Oh. I can put those out as well. That goes in the water box. I set these aside on purpose in case we need large quantities of water again. Well, this time, to guarantee that I can get to the fucking motorcycle track, I'm going there first. Yeah, that the whole type, the, the the whole little route I set up that I wanted to do, where I go to, <coughs> where I do. Um, uh, B2 Town, Zaton, Rogoznika, Shipyard, Motorcycle Track. I've only ever been able to get as far as Rogoznika because the cargo drop comes in the meantime. Like, cargo drop be damned, I'm going to go to the fucking motorcycle track and work my way backwards this time. That's all I've wanted to do is go to the motorcycle track and see if I get lucky with some screwdrivers or maybe some like toolboxes and shit like that. And I haven't made it there once today. So we're heading there first. I need to get, get some fuel first, that's for sure. Oh, I've gotten two. I've gotten two. The first one... The first one lasted me about a day when I started opening up the med lockers. And the second one I went through even quicker. But I've only gotten... I've only gotten two myself. Even the... Even the... Even the red screwdrivers and the crowbars seem to be coming fewer and farther between now. It seems to be on a bit of a roll where it's just giving us garbage. Like, I've already got... I've already got enough rebar cutters and drills to make, like, eight workbenches. So I couldn't care less about those anymore. And I've got, like, six chainsaws. Oh no, they've got a they've got a fishing rod. There's a little there's a little lake. 
there's a little lake um what is it a little bit further down the road on the opposite side of b2 town there's a li there's a river at well, well you can't exactly call it a lake there's a pond there's a pond a little bit further west after b2 town where you can do fishing I I want to I want to get on and do some of that as well, eventually. I want to do some of that as well because the making making sausages out of the fish is actually a lot better source of protein than the than the bears and the and the, and the wolves. I've got I've got some floats. I've got two boxes of floats. I can give you one of the boxes of floats and some hooks and some fishing line. I've got all of that. I can get if you've got the fishing reel and the rod, I can give you some of the other stuff. And then you can uh, it's just here in the in the in the fo in the forest here. That is it. I'll show you on the map. Like this is this is this is where you guys are living. Yeah, right next to the gas station in B2. And you just go west a little. Like, you go down the main road, and then there's a river crossing the main road. You follow that river down south, and there's a little little pond here. You can you can fish in there. Oh, shit. Cargo drop. Did that... Did that just come in? Are you going to that? I just realised... Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Like I said, cargo drops be damned. We're going to the fucking motorcycle track. No, I'm not going to go. You, you, you can, you can, you can go ahead. It's pretty close. I've been, I've been wanting to go to the motorcycle track and do this little route back, so I end up at the, I end up at the junkyard all day and I haven't done it once because I get halfway through the route and a cargo drop comes and I run after it. I wanna I wanna finally get get this little route done. The loot is also somewhat dependent on how many people are on. That's the other thing. Let me just turn the filter off so that it doesn't burn your guys' eyes out. I forgot about that. Can I cut this off? I can't. Can't I? Just go see it. Play some decent music if YouTube wouldn't deactivate my stream over it. Because I've got I've got my own music in the uh, in the radio. So that's Nirvana. And what else have we got here? We've got Foo Fighters. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this George Thorogood. We'll see if YouTube deactivates my stream over it. And fucking bad to the bone in the game like this. Exactly the fucking kind of shit you want to be listening to. Now on the day I was born, the nurses all gathered round and they gazed in wide wonder. The joy they had found The head nurse spoke up Said leave this one alone She could tell right away That I was bad to the bone Bad to the bone Not just bad to the bone Bad, bad to the bone Bad to the bone Bad to the bone That was weird I got stuck in a fucking car. <laughs> I pressed F to get out, and then all of a sudden, all I see is the inside of the car. <coughs> Hopefully, we can find George Thorogood again, though. I mean, I like the fact that they've got the radio in there, and all of the music uh, on the in-game radio is they, 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 they've got the proper Jesus Christ I had to I, I had to roll the car off of myself I've never had that happen before I got out and the car was literally on top of me Okay, let's see if we can get George Thorogood back, shall we?
Well, I see I make my own And I'm here to tell you, honey That I'm bad to the bone Bad to the bone Bad 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 much George George Thorogood got us here in good good spirits like on Twitch it doesn't matter like I stream when I when I stream scum when I was still only streaming on Twitch <laughs> I listened to all of this music just fine and I never got a single copyright strike on anything yeah, and I do it once on YouTube, and I've been probably been streaming, listening, because like, I've got a bunch of shit, look. I mean, I put a whole bunch of good stuff in there. We've got Kid Rock. Okay, that's that's Pharrell. Uh, Rage Against the Machine. I ordered a Frappuccino. Where's my fucking Frappuccino? Jay-Z and Linkin Park. That's a bit of drum and bass. I can't remember that. It's not Avicii. What's the name of that guy. I can't remember the name. We've got that. More Linkin Park. Grease 2000. Three drives on a vinyl. Elvis. Adele. Ke uh, Ke Kesha. Kerncraft from like, back in the old days. Marilyn Manson. Tell me you, you would not love to fucking listen to that when you go out on a fucking PvP run and you're fucking literally killing strangers to Marilyn Manson's killing strangers. Yeah, I've got a bunch of cool shit in there and on Twitch, like I said, I could leave it running and I never got a single strike. But I do it once on YouTube and I was probably listening to the, that, that, that music in-game for about an hour and oh, I've got Metallica as well, Whiskey in the Jar, Enter Sandman, all all kinds of cool shit. Yeah? And I was listening to it for probably like I said, about an hour, hour and a half, and 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 none of the music was causing any issues and then a Jimi Hendrix cut songs come cut song comes on and within about ten seconds the stream is uh, uh, suspended. I stop the music and about a minute later the stream comes back again. It's just so weird what music it, it, it reacts to and what it doesn't. So like when I when I go back in uh, yeah when I go to my catalog of of, of of videos, once this stream is over, it's probably going to have like a copyright thing on it unless I mute the sound, and I don't really care because I mean my channel isn't monetized at the moment anyway, and it's not like I'm going to get that many views out of it. You know I don't I don't care, but. This whole music copyright thing is... I get it. I get it. It's just so fucking annoying. Can you imagine how many more people... You know, imagine how many more people would be using, you know, decent music for, uh, do, uh, for, for certain things if they made buying the, buying the, co uh, the copyright to the music so much cheaper. Just, just from the, just from the rule, the rule of big numbers. Yeah. There'd be so many more people using the music uh, uh, with it being cheaper that they'd end up making more money than just charging a lot for a few people. It's just it's so beyond me. But whatever. And I don't want to just stream on Twitch because one, I don't really like Twitch to be honest. And um, I've been thinking about giving this new platform Kick. Kicked.com. I've been thinking of giving them a try. I wouldn't stop streaming on YouTube. I just use Restream, and then stream to Kick and to and to YouTube. I mean, I still wouldn't be able to listen to whatever music I want because the 
YouTube end of the stream would still get suspended. I don't know. I don't know what it would be like on the kick end of things. It's basically a Twitch alternative, but more conservative. Fewer, fewer snowflakes and fewer rules. Plus, they don't take 50% of your earnings. They still take a cut, but it's not 50%. I mean, depending on, depending on, uh, depending on what part of the program you're in, if all if you, all you do is make affiliate, I think they end up taking in total something like 70% of what you earn. Yeah, you get you get to you get to take 50% of what you make uh, through Twitch. Only when you're when you become a partner, and it takes you oh at last the screwdriver, yeah, and it takes you a lot, a lot more in in um, follow account and 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 interactions to get to 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 get to become a partner. I made an I made an account there on kick.com when I when I saw it when I heard about it and it looks pretty cool there's already a whole bunch of of gaming streamers on there among other things I mean it's all about the eyeballs isn't it I mean if I stream to there and YouTube oh and to what is it? The, bar the, the air quote unquote barrier to entry on qu on kick is a lot lower. Yeah, uh, on on Twitch, the only time you can actually you can actually make money from your stream, where you can activate people sending you bits and having followers and that kind of stuff, you know, paid followers, you have to <coughs> you have to reach a certain number of followers and a certain amount of stream time and view time and all that kind of stuff. To, uh, to qualify to be able to, to to get paid from it but that also is the, the barrier for entry on that is also a lot 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 lower on kick so I could I could basically start streaming to kick and probably within about a week reach the point where I can actually monetize on there There's going to be a great divide once Kick starts to pick up in in popularity. Uh, all they're going to need to do is 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 get get a hold of a couple of bigger game streamers, and and then eyeballs are going to be divided. Yeah, then you're gonna then you're basically only going to see you more you more eventually. Yeah, it, it's, and this is my opinion. You're eventually going to see uh, a divide between, like the very the, the the much more liberal, what I would call, snowflake class, of streamers over on Twitch, and then the other people, the well, I wouldn't I wouldn't even go as far as call them liberal. Let's call them what they are, leftists. That they'll be over on Twitch, yeah, and anyone that's liberal or conservative will be on Kick, and Twitch is going to have to make some serious changes if they're going to want to stay around in the long run if 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 things go well for kick then that that's that's the way i that's the way i can see it going if i if i look at if i look at the majority of people that i watch stream yeah most of them values wise the the the, the way they think the the the, the kinds of things they, they 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 hold dear values wise are a lot closer to what I'm like than being anywhere near being a leftist or a liberal. And if they all start to migrate over to kick, and you see a big enough, you see a big enough wave of of, of people moving over, Twitch is going to have to change its ways and do things a little differently if they want to stay in the game in the long run. Competition is a good thing. Competition is a good thing. The fact that kick has come about 
yeah, and they're able to do what they're do uh, doing is a great thing, yeah? That's what fucking capitalism is all about. Competition creates a healthy market. Now it's about time. It's, it's, it's someone, someone made an alternative. Like, uh, Donut. Donut Operator. He streams over there, as far as I know. Well, okay, they stream on YouTube as well, but, I mean, who else? Eli Double Tap. Chocolate Operator. Donut Operator's uh, uh, girlfriend, Heather. And, like, a, a bunch of those guys around them. I can't even remember half of their names. There's, like, probably a dozen of them. They're all going over to Kick, as well as streaming on YouTube. Because they tend to talk about the more spicy, controversial, controversial stuff. That hasn't got them in trouble over on Twitch yet, but they do have they do have issues with those things when they go live on YouTube. Well, what have we got so far? Two whole screwdrivers. Yeah. Oh, it's better than nothing. It's more than I've gotten in previous runs. We'll go through the tents and the cars, and then we'll fuck off to the sh the shipyard. Let him catch his breath. How hot are we? Oh, we're not too bad. I thought we were a lot hotter. Food, also okay. Oh, we could do with more carbs. We're very high on protein with hardly any carbs. Have some of that bread. That'll make our food last that much longer. What have we got? 52 grams of carbs. Have a bit more. There we go. That'll do for now. And we've still got the crackers. We need to finish those. What have we got here? Jeans. Don't need that. Chocolate bar. No chocolate bar. Or coffee. Chocolate bar, please. No. These vending machines are being stingy. Oh, look, a drill. It's not like we need it. We've already got, like, nine of them at home. He says, picking up the drill to make it number ten. I'm a fucking loot whore. I can't say no. It's one of those things that... When you need, you really need it. And you can't find one fucking anywhere. And if you don't pick it up, then you know that you're going to need one soon. What do we have in here? Any whip weapons? Any weapon? No weapon. Pistol or a shotgun or something? Oh! Carbon Hunter. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. And some absinthe, which we can't carry. I forgot to take my respirator off after we came out of the kill box and I brought it with me.
Oh, and a shotgun. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the car. Empty out, and then we'll drive back to the we'll we'll drive back to the parking lot. So we still have to go through all of the cars in the parking lot, and we'll grab that shotgun. Because we are full. breath first. Because I've already got a Restream account, because I was using that when, uh, what is it, before I made this, before I made the switch to just YouTube, I was streaming on Twitch, and then I got the Restream account, so I started streaming to Twitch and YouTube. And I was sick of using Restream because I had a couple of couple of issues with it. So then I ju just switched to uh, streaming on YouTube. But if I was to start streaming on Kick, then I'd start using Restream again. And I could could stream to all three. And when I came away from Twitch, I was basically, I was basically a couple of, um, I had, I had the follow account, I had the, the streamed hours within the 30 day period, I had that. The only thing I had, I needed was the, the viewer interaction thing. Yeah, you have to have a certain, you have to have a certain, um, certain number of people chatting in a, in a, in a stream and well, I can't remember exactly what it's called but it's basically down to it's basically down to the viewer interaction and that stat I didn't have high enough yet but I was basically just on the cusp of, of getting that as well to become an affiliate and then I could have finally started making money from it I mean that's not the reason why I started doing it and why I, what even why I still do it I mean, I'm nowhere near being able to monetize on YouTube. I, I, I do it because I enjoy it, because it's fun to, to, you know, have the viewer interaction and share, share what you're doing. Oh, I can't eat because I've got the fucking respirator on. Now you can eat it. Okay, we can put that back. Not push. No, no, no. Cancel. Drive. We'll go and park in the car park. We'll loot out the vehicles. Get around that shotgun. to the shipyard finally anyone at home no no one here yeah you see that what ranger what I was talking about earlier if I hold right click to, to go in with the focus yeah I already get that zoom and then the boom the the bow zooms in so I get I get that extra if I if I just zoom in playing with the bow it looks like that oops yeah or I get much closer zoom if I use both let's see if we can find that shall we <laughs> that's a carbon carbon arrow I'd rather not leave that to the birds That one must have gone to Narnia. 
Fucking ding dong. It should have dropped out of the air by here. Well, that one's gone, baby. Yeah, look, we're already over the... We're already over the hill. I don't know where that one disappeared to. That's weird. really need to pee. You're fucking peeing a lot today, mate. And you need to poo anyway. Let's go and take a shit. Go and take a shit, mate. We'll try the music again on the way back when we go to the when we go to the shipyard. Bolts. I'm interested in bolts and screwdrivers. Sheesh. So it's always welcome. <coughs> I don't mind taking some dead presidents home. Oh, there's some fuel. Did we check this already? No. Oh, bobby pins. shotgun that we left behind. And another screwdriver. Lovely. I see, I knew it was worth coming here been meaning to come here all bloody day. More bobby pins. And the shotgun. I'll take that, thank you very much. Swiftly moving on. Let's see what we have here. Cell box. Put that in there. Car box. Put that there. Oof. Let's see what we're going to listen to. Let's see if Marilyn Manson suspends our stream. Yeah. We got guns, we got guns. 
guns, we got guns, we got guns, we got guns, battle run. thirsty again. There's a 
another two. I'll take that, thank you very much. Now we've got three of them on us. Oh, four, you've got five. Come on, step right up. We have arrows for all. We don't discriminate. Fat, fat, thin, short, tall. Everyone can get an arrow from me. I don't care. As Gunny says, to me, you're all equally worthless. <laughs> Do you remember that in Full Metal Jacket? In like the, basically the opening scene? Where he's going through and he lists off, I won't say it obviously, because he lists off a whole bunch of slurs. Like the N-word among others. And he says, I don't care what you are here, you're all equally worthless. <laughs> Take that, thank you very much. And I've been, I've been meaning to re-watch that movie for ages. Full Metal Jacket is fucking epic. Absolute classic. Oh, look at that. Grindstone. Can you guys shut up? Fucking... Harsh in my buzz. We go in here yet? Yeah. Let's search that. Now we got a decent little load of tools, which isn't bad. There. Two saws and a grindstone. No screwdrivers though. Ah, oh, some goulash. I'll take some goulash. From here we'll move straight across the map to Novigrad. That's got a lot of, uh, it's got a bunch of garages in it and a police station. And then from there we'll get the petrol station on our way to the airfield. And we'll be on the right side of the map to go to junkyard. Okay. Swiftly moving on. before we went down. Okie dokie. And you're still thirsty. I don't know what else to eat. I think I might have to switch to eating fucking flour like you do, mate. To keep my carbs up. just had a bunch of fucking bread. I don't want to eat anymore because our fucking calories are high enough as is. Okay, we'll let him we'll let him burn through some of those we'll let him burn through some of that protein. I I'm not complaining because then at least while we are running around we're definitely making muscle. 
Oh, hang about. We need a soundtrack. Who's next? I'm the king of run, run DMC. Deck. Ah, let's go. This is the original of the song in the movie Blade when he goes in to kill the vampires. And he goes into the blood shower. That's another under underrated one. He plays movies. Everybody in the house tonight, make some noise! I want to hear everybody in the place say ho! Oh. Public domain kicking it to you, man. Face in the place, London. 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 <laughs> Just going to away there anyway I don't want to start another one it's just around the next corner so that when I'm not streaming and I don't forget then it's basically all the kind of stuff I listen to I just put those in-game tunes on of like stuff that I've put in you have to there's what is it there's a folder in your in your place that no Jesus Christ if I wasn't fucking stroking out and I could talk there's a folder in your scum folder where you can drop the music, but it has to be flak. Yeah, the dot flac, the lossless, and you can convert it from MP3 and shit easy enough, even with like online converters. You drop the music in there, and then you can access it from the radio in game. So when I'm not streaming, that's basically all I've done. I've got the music on when I'm driving around having a fucking whale of a time. Let's park in the parking lot, shall we? I like this spot right here. Nice little view of the ocean. Yeah, alright, alright. I'll be with you in just a moment. Hold your horses. Where did that one get off to? He jumped off, did he? He self-ended himself. Yeah, at least that problem took care of itself. I don't have to worry about it. We got 
half the town riled up by the sounds of it. I don't think I've ever fired a single flare cartridge. Come on, mate. Bring your friends. More the merrier. I'm over here, mate. fucker out. First one went right by his head. <laughs> I'll take that and there should be another one. Yeah, there. And one here somewhere. Where is it? Or was that the one in the ground? How many have we got? Yeah, we should have one more here somewhere. There it is. have here then. How many screwdrivers are you going to give me this time? Shut up. I said shut up. You're totally harsh in my buzz, man. Stop fucking ducking right at the right fucking moment, you cunt. The same thing happened. I released the fucking arrow and it went right by his head. What's going on? Why can't I... Have I got the fucking tab bug again? I couldn't... I couldn't bring up the... I couldn't bring up that menu for a second. I was pressing tab and nothing was happening. That's what happens when you start getting a bit leery. Yeah, I fired one in this direction that seemed to go straight through. That's one there. And there was one at Fat Man that also almost seemed to go straight through. Do we have anything over here? No. Okay. Never mind. And it's the only issue with coming into these towns. Those fuckers are absolutely everywhere. And uh, uh, this isn't even really a lot. There was way more of them on the on the meat grinder. You'd search a car, like if you you you, you come in here, like there's a bunch of garages here. You come in here and search a car, and you basically get like a dozen of them crawling out of the fucking woodwork from just about every direction. I stayed away from these towns like the fucking plague unless I came in with a gun. Well, you get used to it after a while. 
you search and then because you know you're going to attract them then you just like back off to a point where you can control it and then shoot them as they come along <laughs> Motherfucker. I didn't reload it the last time I emptied. And then I had a fucking... That's right, you fucking die. Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe now I can deal with bleeding to death. That was a bit of excitement, hey, we haven't had that happen in a long time. This is the kind of situation where I wish I had a fucking Phoenix Tears. It's going to be cutting it close. And it's exactly why I carry these higher tiered meds, because you don't need so many of them. Come on, hurry it up and get that fucking thing wrapped up, will you? What's that? Is that C1? Oh, it's already gone, okay. Yeah, and in situations like this is the only time I'll really bother with the disinfecting. Yeah, because it... Here, I'm actually taking on infection in some of these. Because my uh, immune system is spread thin. Yeah, so if I go to, let's say, like the some of the toughest ones, we've got a C2 there. <sighs> oh, no, that was a C1. Where's the C2s? Yeah, we'll go like to a C... Why can't I select the fucking thing? Oh, the ones I bandaged, I can't select to treat. I'd have to take the bandages off first. That's weird. I don't remember that being the case before. Yeah, so we'll just clean all of these. Hmm. Yeah, now my immune system isn't spread as thin, and I'm not taking on any contamination from any of them. See, it's both going down. We didn't we didn't take any painkillers when we went into the kill box. Man, I wasted so much ammo out of spite. That was just shit. Sheer and utter bloodlust. I started firing and just fucking emptied. <laughs> hmm. Let's limp our way over to this garage, shall we? Hmm. We should be safe in here. <laughs> oh, and a screwdriver. Happy days. No, that is what we came for. We'll grab that tire as well, if it'll fit. Yes, indeed. Lie down, mate. You need it. Yeah, look, the the painkillers I took, they're so low durability that the the effect has already worn off, so it wouldn't have been worth it wouldn't it wouldn't have been worth taking them even if we had remembered to take them at the at the kill box. That's the problem. Once 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 they get under about twenty percent durability, they're basically worthless. 
between about tw between about 20 and 10 when you take it you might get you might get cover for a couple of minutes like a minute or two but then they just wear off really quick and below that it's it's basically two times nothing anything under 20 20 percent durability is just a, a, a load of cack it's the same with the it's the same with the potassium iodide you take it and instead of getting like 10 minutes worth of coverage from a tablet you only get like a minute minute and a half you have to you have to keep taking more and more and more of them Where are we? We're in the middle of Z2. What time is it? It's around about time for a cargo drop to come in. It's quarter past the hour. We'll just chill here and wait for these to fuck off. We'll carry on looting the town and with any luck, while we're doing that, cargo drop will come in. Uh, fingers crossed. We actually get meds in one of them, and then I don't, won't have to go home to stock up on my meds. Where's the bunker in this sector? Oh, it's just to our east. I don't think I've ever been in this bunker, to t t tell the truth. I've been to Z zero, yeah, because I've uh, I, that that the Z zero was the very first. I rem I remember that all too well. That was the very first kill box I ever did, and I died. And I've done. No, I haven't done Z one, but I've been in Z one. I don't know if I've ever been in the Z two bunker, to be honest. Let's we'll we'll go in the bunker if we're here. We might as well make use of that. See if there's anything interesting down there. When we've finished the town, of course. Come on, hurry up. Oh, they're all in recovery. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, uh, we can carry on. We just got to be slightly less blasé about the way we go about things. And there's some more fishing line. It's all well and good trying to put on a show, but we've got to stay alive. <coughs> Shut up. screwdrivers I wanted to repair this didn't I make sure that's up to spec I'll take the arrow back if you don't mind so I can give it to him stuck on the curb. Come on then. Do we have any milk or absinthe in here? You know what? 
in the interim. Where are you? What are you doing up there? Can you leave me the fuck alone, please? That didn't fuck up any of my bleeds. Yeah, I think it did. That's not a new one. That's one of the previous ones that come back because of that little biatch. Where's the absinthe? There's the absinthe. In the interim, we'll do that. Oilies. It's good for fishing. Yeah, we should be... We should really be... Uh, looking through the houses as well, to be honest. Now, come to think of it. Yeah, the Mediterranean area. The houses have a higher likelihood of having fishing rods and other fishing-related shit in it. We won't have to buy one. I was... I was just going to go through the... Uh, through the workshops and the garages, but it's probably worth looting the place properly. Good once over. Let's go out here. Can't get to us here. Upstairs. Yes, you did. <coughs> Clever girl. Chocolate bar. Oh, coffee. I'll take that. Right, let's go through this place as well. Sweatpants. No thanks, I'm sweating enough as it is. It'd be nice if they put the um, the extra containers in... Oh, look, a Geiger counter. It would be nice if they put the extra containers in these buildings as well. Like the these hotel-style buildings with the garage on the bottom with the roll-up. Yeah, of course, it's B0. Of course it's B0. Why wouldn't it be B0? We have to go all the way along the fucking Zeds. Let's turn the timer on, shall we? And see if we can actually make it. At least we get to listen to some more music. Which way? North, this way. We'll give it a whirl. 
least we're in a good position to get on the main road. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to that for sure. I'm hoping to get some meds out of it. Because I used some of my meds. Keeping myself from dying. It's a stra straight shot down the road. get to the zeros and then we just go north across the bridge. We did have all of our boxes in here, didn't we? Yeah, okay, nice. Let's put some tunes on while we go, shall we? Little Lincoln Park. R.I.P. Chester. Zero, we we'll just have to make it up into the A and the B. Got plenty of time. The question is if there's anyone else going to it.
Hey. I don't like the eight sectors in general, but I have the most problems with the eight. The roads are all windy because of the because of the hills, and the, even when you go off road, everything's rocky. But I'd even if I had to choose between the A or the Z sectors, I'd rather be in the Z sector. A's are just annoying. You've got the coastline, yeah, which like goes up and down. And there's a bunch of places where you have to basically go in like a, a big U shape to get around certain things because of the bays or simply the terrain. The A's are all just fucked up. So look at how windy this fucking road is. Compared to the Z sectors where the roads are all nice and long and straight in comparison. Yeah. Hang on right here. It's basically straight up the road from there. Sector. Okay, so we've still got, <laughs> still got a little ways to go, yeah. After this, whether we get it or not, we might as well go to the junkyard, seeing as we're right here. What's next, DJ? Alice Cooper. Well, we're near. We're nearly at the drop anyway. Let's turn that off. We'll listen to Alice while we go through the junkyard. Plenty of time on the clock. That's what I like to see. Oops, the tree. I can't see the smoke from the trees. Where is it? I'm going in the right direction. Canopy so thick, I can't see the smoke. There it is. Bloody hell. Come on, get out, mate. I 
don't want to use the advanced. Let's unbundle that. Bag. Wait, well, it's a good start. It's a good start. When you get this kind of like utility stuff, that's exactly what we wanted. You fucking read my mind. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll eat that. And we don't have to go home and pick up more meds. Oh, and some advanced lockpicks. And another nade. Sweet. Oh, come on, can you open already? Shotgun. And what do we have in the last one? Yeah, of course. We have to get one of those. It wouldn't be a fucking drop if we didn't get one of those. bundle these back up and then we have exactly enough for the next one. And off we go. Let's take let's take this crap and chuck it in there. And we only have to grab one thing when we get out of the car at home. You as well, and you, and you, lovely, put that there, let's get the cell box, you go in there, and you, and you, and then you go in the car, not you, You can go in the car. Oh, I forgot the ammo. I forgot to put the ammo in the car box, in the cell box. We're not going to be holding on to that. Yeah, I might as well throw that in there as well. And that. There we go. Lovely. Now we can get back to it. What was that you were saying, Alice? Something about poison?
That'll do. Just a little background music to looting up a storm. How hot are we? Not very, okay. shall we? Put the fuel in the car and chuck the can inside. Place your bets. How many screwdrivers are we going to get out of this place today? I say we're going to get two red ones. Oh, that was another fuel can. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm not running back again. Which is on the low end of the scale, because I've been lucky enough to come away with three yellow screwdrivers from here before. all down to what the RNG is feeling like that particular day. Well, thank you very much for that, Alice. We'll carry on without the soundtrack. Go on, catch your breath then, mate. How hot are you? Quite. Okay. Did I put the... Yeah, of course I put the fucking hat away. Never mind. I'll take that off. You've got hair again. What have I told you about that hair? We don't need that crap. Get rid of it. And again. There you go, much better. Space monkey. And even more fuel. Who that? I'm over here, fat man. Come on. I'll take that, thank you very much. Yeah, I've got more compound bows than I know what to do with at this point.
probably open up a hunting store as well, like in the like in the town. Probably got nearly a dozen compound bows at home. Very light on the screwdrivers so far. Come on, junkyard, don't let me down. for it today, aren't you? Bobby pins. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, how are we doing on the sewing kit? We'll grab that and then we'll make a new one of those the next bloke that comes along. Toolboxes wouldn't be a bad thing either. I'm sure they'd beat the fucking shit out of my gear. Yeah, that's 85, 87. We need to repair that too. What the fuck is going on here? I'm completely fucking stuck. Come on. Bear with me, I'm gonna re-log. I'm completely stuck in that in that spot. I've never had that happen before. I've gotten stuck in between the cars where the character model just like shakes around like crazy and then eventually you get like pushed out. But I've never been like locked in solid before. You don't look like a murderer at all, do you? Natural born killer. No, no, of course I don't. Let's hope that worked. Uh, it did indeed. That was a close one. And some gunpowder. Oh, that's a hole. There we go. One, one red screwdriver. Do we not have room down there? Oh, okay. Some cashish and some more gunpowder. We'll take that for the fame. Well, that's one down. I said we were going to get two. Let's get some rope. We're running low on that. Lead. Lovely. Oh, no, it's the next one. Nothing. Nothing. We haven't got any toolboxes whatsoever so far either. I'll grab...
I'll grab two metal as well, just in case we have to, we end up having to make our own, well actually, tell a lie, let's grab, oh more rope, and cashish, let's grab four metal, so we can make two toolboxes, because one probably isn't going to be enough to repair our gear all the way back up to maximum. See that that's that's what I meant about getting stuck. Where the character just goes nuts. It's been one of those weird days today. please. I've already got a bunch of jacks. Okay, we've got the top row. Let's get the bottom. Toolbox. Lovely. That's not going to be enough to fully repair everything now, is it? We'll go next door. Actually, let's use this up first and make room. That's that. Oh, it was enough. And we even have leftovers. Let's repair that. Let's see if I can actually draw this up. Should be at least 75 pounds by now. I've gone up in strength. No? Still 70. Okay, never mind. Let's chuck the rest of that on there then, shall we? Oh, we've still got leftovers. I need your bones, love. I've got stuff to repair and I need a needle. The quiver took a beating, that's 78%. Actually, let's use that up first, shall we? better. And more toolboxes. Let's make a quick run back to the car. We 
got a lot of shit on us. And we'll have something to eat and drink, seeing as we're getting hungry and thirsty, and then we can do the other half. It's that other, like, that. this this other side has way fewer things to search overall than all of this with all the cars. But it's that side, yeah, with the odd vehicles spread around and the, and the, off, and the stuff that's around the, the warehouse office building. That's usually where I find most of the yellow screwdrivers. Like, I'll get, I'll get the odd one over here, yeah, but more often than not, if I find them, then I find it on this side of the junkyard. What boxes did we put in here? Oh, that's what we started chucking the doors into. Okay. Some random box. Oh, we can put the wheel in there, and then that's job done. Like so. What's this one? The metal box. And then we've got the cell box and the car box. Okay, well, let's make use of the metal box, shall we? What up, crazy? Come to think of it. Oh, I put all of that other stuff away, didn't I? Okay, never mind. All of you go in there, and you... That's a full stack. That's a stack. We don't really need those right now. The hat. I want to put the hat on. Anything else? No. Okay, back we go. Oh! Food. What are we going to have today then? Let's eat the tuna salad. Get that out of the way. that calories wise 1100 let's eat a candy bar chocolate bar chocolate cake candy okay that's cool and we'll down the rest of that beer after the beating that we took in that other town we fucking deserve a beer Have a little bit of water as well. Feeling tired? Yeah, I'm not surprised. We gave you a C1 stomach full. Why the hell are you hypothermic? I need to. I need to take the gloves off. To give myself a chance against the hypothermia. No, even that's not helping, because we're running around. What time is it anyway? Uh, early afternoon sun isn't going to be going down for a while. Uh, what else? Everything else is packed full of stuff. Fuck it, we'll... Let's go inside. And lie down. And let the hypothermia... Oh, did it recover? Well, we'll let, we'll let ourselves get back to temp. Yeah, we'll give him a minute. We'll give him a minute. Come on. Point six, please. There we go. That didn't. 
should take long. Oh, we got inside in the shade. That helps. Now we can run around again to our heart's content. See the double vision. Like all the blurring in the sky. From the beer, the drunkenness going away. You know what I haven't found in ages? Whiskey. I found a bottle of tequila a little while ago, but I sold that to Dolores. But I haven't found a bottle of whiskey in donkey's years. Oh, you're making a diner. That's cool. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Five, five fame for picking up the compound, but I would have picked up the other one as well then if I'd realised. We have there soap and a bra and a drink. It's an odd combination, but okay. Wash your bra and then have a drink when you're finished. your breath mate <coughs> heat's about your heart's about to beat out your chest <clears throat> I got myself some of those <clears throat> easy microwave burgers and pre-prepared deals you just chuck it you nuke it in the microwave for like two minutes and it's done because the shops aren't open because of Easter Tomorrow, Sunday and Monday, everything's closed. The restaurants are still open, so I can still order in, no problem. <clears throat> I was thinking of thinking of micro microwaving myself up a hamburger, but I think I'll hold on to those for Sunday and Monday. I do need to start thinking about what I'm going to have to eat.
time flies so quickly when you're in these places fucking looting. We're already on the hour. Yeah, it's five past five. So, we should be seeing another cargo drop coming. I mean, it, just, it seems like just a few minutes ago that the last one was here that we just got. Come on trucks, don't be so stingy, there must be a fucking screwdriver in one of you. No, but there are feathers. No screwdrivers, but plenty of feathers. We're almost finished here and we still haven't come across a single screwdriver this time around. Well, on this side. Plenty of bolts for once though. Another. Lovely. So we already got more than what I was expecting. Let's go upstairs and say hello to that maniac causing a ruckus. Let's see if we can find a chocolate bar in the office. Sun kit. I'll take that. We 
integrated him into the into the door. Hang around, mate. Come on, where's the chocolate? I want a nice Snickers bar, please. Seem to have some sort of connection issue on the YouTube end, so if the video's looking a little weird, bear with it for just a second. OBS says there's nothing wrong but the YouTube studio says it's not receiving enough to maintain a stable smooth stream which shouldn't be the case OBS doesn't show any issues whatsoever Hello, love. How you doing? <coughs> Take a rest. Take a load off, why don't you? I'll have to take that arrow off your hands, though. Didn't get a chocolate bar from the other office. Fortunately. going to be able to make another lock when we get home. Right, let's get the fuck out of Dodge, shall we? Where are we going next? Let's have a look. Let's have a looky-loo. I don't want to go home yet, because we've still got a bunch of room in our boxes. We could... Because we just... we on What, what is it? At Novigrad, we didn't even get finished up in Novigrad, and then we just blasted straight past the airfield and the pe and the petrol station. We could make our way back the opposite way again, and this time actually stop at the airfield and and the petrol station. They're also both good places for screwdrivers. <clears throat> I'm having fun now that we're actually out and about for once. I spent so much time cooped up on the house, getting it up to fucking cement, and then after that, building the little terrace thing around the outside. I just want to... I just want to have fun, you know? What have we got down there? We don't need... We don't need to be carrying all of that along with us, do we? Uh, we don't need that. Yeah, and then we can put those in there. Are we thirsty? A little. Let's get that down us and then move out. Oh, and we don't need that anymore either. There we go, chuck that in there. 
away we go. At least we can fill up the car at the airfield or the petrol station. What are we going to have to listen to now? Let's listen to Kid Rock.
Kinsha. Kenpa. And so. I'm the Let's go with some tech, shall we? A bit of loser, baby. Early 90s. should have parked over there by the fucking fuel, shouldn't I, idiot? Okie dokie. Let's get us some screwdrivers, shall we? What do we have over here? Nothing. All of these screwdrivers just teasing us. Parachute? No, we've got a bit of metal. I'd be interested to see how much a parachute is worth here. I know they usually sell for somewhere somewhere between like four or five thousand. But I doubt we'd get that much for one here. I will take that spade for filling sandbags. Come on. Don't be stingy. Give me at least one screwdriver. you want to, there you go, good boy. Oh, that's good money that is. That sells for well over a thousand even on even on here here.
I went into the um, spices, no thanks. I went into the uh, cheese factory the other day, just out of curiosity. There was a drop nearby, and I was going past, so I thought, let's take a looky loo. I didn't, I didn't get any cheese, unfortunately, which would have been nice, but. I hadn't noticed before, like in the main, in the main factory building, there's a whole bunch of these, and another screwdriver, lovely. There's a whole bunch of these tubs, like these white tubs, that I'd never bothered to search before, and I hadn't really noticed. You can search them all, That's basically the main thing that you search to get cheese. There's like a couple of a couple of these boxes stacked up with red writing on it that I'd always searched before, knowing that, that you get the cheese from there. there. There was a whole bunch of shit that I'd never searched before that never even occurred to me. Not today, love. Oh. There's still glass in that window, is there? Can we shoot through it? Most certainly can. What do we have in here, then? Any more screwdrivers for daddy? Go back to sleep, mate. I'll take that, though. And... Oh, we've still got the hangers at the back here, haven't we? Nearly done. And we can move on to the petrol station. Don't need none of that. holster and some shotgun shells lovely okie dokie that's that oh it's worth coming up here we got a couple of couple more screwies that's always good that's exactly what we're out here for crap away shall we sell that goes in there and that that I want to hold on to because I don't have another one I've been selling them every time I get one let's hold on to that and put these away because those are full stacks that two four six eight ten sixteen more we've collected so far that's not too bad for one little one little run yeah that's like a quarter of a way to a kill box do a couple more runs like that and then Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt you're rolling in it Anything else we need to put away? No, not really. Okay, then petrol station. 
with any luck, that'll be good to us today. One of the three garages or the workshop itself. drops I have more than enough at home if you if you need that then then I'll give you that I've got like seven or eight of it all of, uh, of each of them the rebar cutter and the drill don't worry I, I'll be out for a little while but when I get home I can give you one I've got more than enough of them Bench, you can go into the, you can go into B2 Town. There's a couple of buildings that have the, have the lathe and the drill press and things like that. It, it, it's the same thing. The workbench is just the one that you can make for your home.
song for a nice speed run. Nothing important.
classical music. That's a little bit too much of a juxtaposition after Prodigy. Credence. Avicii. Corn? Nah, not corn. More than ever. Fighters, Jay Z, more prodigy, offspring, Marilyn Manson, small kiss, oh, we got Elvis. Sorry, Elvis, not today. There we go. I still haven't seen this movie. I've been meaning to watch it for ages. Ghost in the Shell. gonna make it but only just Now we've got a little bit of everything so far. Big mixed bag. Oh, you got it. We're about, no, serious, oh, kidding, okay. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought Ranger had got it. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Just playing with us. What do we have next then? 
Jimi Hendrix. Nah. Yeah, there we go. Nearly had me there. <laughs> should still have eight minutes on the clock when we open the door. Told ya. I've got this down to a science. An absolute science. Battery. What else have you got for us? Give me a yellow screwdriver, yeah? I won't I won't be uh, I was about to say I won't be angry if you give me a yellow screwdriver, but never mind. You were saying something the other day about needing a Better crossbow, no. Oh, more food. Nice. We always need food. Oh, the VHS. Oh, I love it. That's my favorite gun. That's my favorite gun. Oh, and another bag. There we go, let's... What is your major malfunction? Why can't 
I put that in there. Chuck that in there. Oh yeah, you're going to be uh, popping them open with the strength. Let's just put that in there like that, and then we can do that. No, what I was about to say, the the, the other gun that I like is the, um, is the Mark 18. If I have a choice, then it's this or the Mark 18. They have very controllable. They 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 both have very controllable recoil. Like you can you can unload in a in a really tight group with these things. <coughs> even if you even if you get into like a bit of panic fire, they won't they won't seriously crawl away. You can you can control it uh, pretty easy. Yeah, and and after that, it's probably like. AK-15 and AK-47. Past that, it's like, you know, whatever, whatever I'm lucky enough to have in my hands. But if I have a choice, then it's this or the Mark 18. Let's top the MREs back up, shall we? And the soda pop. Chocolate. Bread. We'll hold on to that. We'll eat that. And this should have gone in the bag. Like so. Oh, wait a minute. This other stuff we should have put away as well. I don't need that bloody respirator. Or the gloves. I guess those could stay there. So that if I happen to go to a kill box and someone forgets their respirator, then we don't have to go home. <laughs> That's alright, we've still got like six minutes on the clock. Okay, three and a half. Though I, I underestimated. Still, it's not gonna, it's not gonna blow up anytime soon, which is fine. It's not making anyone anxious, is it? That we're standing next to a huge explosive. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> C4, C4. I know next to nothing about this sector. It's another one of those ones that I barely come to. Oh, we've got a lake and a river. Don't want to end up in that. There's the bridge, there's the bridge. Like, when I first started playing Scum, I was fresh, I was fresh from having played Rust, and in Rust, I was all about the boat meta. Like, I went to the, I used the boat to go to the floaters, and I'd go to the underwater labs all the time, and I basically just spent my time going between large oil, small oil, the underwater labs, and hitting the floating barrels. And I always had a boat base, but always. And when I came to Scum, 
I was hoping to do the same kind of thing. And then I was always building my bases on rivers, like looking for boats to get around. But since then, I've barely used the boat outside of single player in, in, in Scum. I've got, got to stop for a minute and we'll analyse the map a little. I'm, apps, I'm, I'm not familiar with this sector whatsoever. What, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? What do we have here? There's no police stations in those towns. And then the but we've got the... We could go to B4. Let's go to B4. I'm familiar with that bunker. go to the we'll go to the B4 bunker it's not too far away what do we have here is that a vehicle no engine okay Oh, there are some uh, garages, though. And you know what that means. Screwdrivers. Lead. Don't mind if I do. Come on. One of you better give me a screwdriver. Now that we took the time and stopped and got out of the car and everything and went to the effort. No? I've oh, got another battery and some nipple clamps. And no screwdriver. Flare enough. But you know one thing I haven't done in ages? Let's do that. I haven't swapped the battery out in a long time. I'll take that good one. And we'll put in that shit one. We'll repair it. Like so. Now we've got a fully charged 100% battery. While we're here, we might as well chuck this shit away. We don't need that many drinks. We're not even thirsty. Is that damaged, is it? Why the hell is that damaged? That's that's why that's green. It's showing it's got damage. That's weird. No idea how that could have taken damage. Damage is off. The only way you can take damage is by shooting at it. Oh, we have to still we still have to put the fucking Oh, is that a restart? I believe it is. We'll give it a minute then. I was a little quick. I was a little quick to click connect. Or are we getting in? 
I've never left a vehicle on the uh, on the jack before. On a reason. still here I had a connection issue I was trying to take the car off the jack and then all of a sudden my internet dropped out or well actually the internet was just fine the connection on OBS dropped out for some reason weird come on let me in okay let's pick up our Jack, chuck the box in there. Hopefully we've got enough juice left in that battery that I just put in to actually start the car. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, but you know what? Restart. Then the uh, garages get reset. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's public. All the all the infos in the um, the infos in the description of the video. screwdriver please beg of you yeah right right ranger plays there he, he was the one that keyed me in on it and crazy plays there with her son out on the floor. Okay, so where are we? We're there. And we're going the wrong way if we want to go to the B4 bunker. We have to go this way. Dirt road, and it should be basically a Stokes throw down this way. When I when I play on Survival Evolved, this is basically the bunker that I come to all the time. Because on foot, it's relatively quick and easy to traverse between this bunker and the trader. There's a couple of things that you can loot in between. So when I'm fresh, I'll hope to spawn over here somewhere. And then I'll just go in between this bunker and this bunker and the trader a bunch of times. Get myself kitted out. Another one that's relatively simple to get past the, the mechs. Well, they're all relatively simple. I mean, 
relatively speaking, just takes some getting used to. I will put my helmet back on. That's for sure. What do you want, Mr. Puppet? Huh? You wanted one of my arrows, didn't you? I'm happy to oblige. Okay, let's wait for... Let's wait for the big guy. I want to see him go past. Oh, hang about. Let's get rid of these... So they don't interfere. Go on, fuck off, big guy. I started running. That was the problem. He heard me running. Dudes. I totally ran in here, forgetting about the possibility of a beeper inside. Oh, would you look at that? A block in one of those boxes. And it's in fucking good nick as well. An M9. I'm really liking the fact that we came here. <laughs> Who knows, we might even get a fucking dial lock out of it. Yeah, I used to I used to play regularly on the on the meat grinder, and then from time to time, survival evolved. But I moved on from there. Oh fuck the bow! Let's just take care of him with the pistol for once, shall we? We've got so much ammo. Down, boy. Anyone in here? No one. Cheeseburger! My favourite. And another one. Tuna salad. Okay. Not too hot about that, but I'll take M any MRE I can get my hands on. Nope. We'll go down there a little later. <laughs> we've got some advanced pick picks on us this time around we can give those med lockers a go fingers crossed we actually get some phoenix tears then I don't have to go through what we what we had happen in uh, Novigrad where we got beat up on a little fucking died. Let's switch this around, shall we? There we go, that's the cleaner. 
Okay, what do we have in locker number one then, eh? I have a feeling we're not going to find out. I'm so shit at this. I need to practice so much. Fuck it! Not wasting them. Oh, there's another one right across the way. Teasing me, it's like open me, open me. No, no, the devs need to make it so we can jimmy you with a crowbar again, then I'll open you. They haven't changed it, have they? Cannot be forced, yeah, fucking bastards. what they do by doing that yeah you know what they do they're keeping Phoenix tears uh, away from people that can't necessarily lockpick particularly well so they're not getting as much out of the game as they could otherwise get yeah you've got the different types of radiation lockers you've got the shit at the power plant you've got the gold locks on people's doors there's so many other opportunities for people to have to do lock picking. You're boxing people in and forcing them to learn a certain thing and keeping a significant piece of equipment uh, that, you know, can, can, can get you out of a jam away from a big swath of players. Because there's a lot of people that are, uh, are particularly shit at lock picking and don't necessarily want to give it a go. <clears throat> and opening them with a crowbar, you can say, is an easy way out. But it's not like they're super, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, they're super frequent. You've still got a really low percentage chance of getting one, even when you do open it. Fuck off. MVGs. Yeah, but what else? What else are you le learning lock picking for? If you're not, if you're not really a raider. Yeah, I mean. If they, if they absolutely want people to give log picking a go, then seeing, a, what is it, give, given the quality of stuff you can get out of these lockers, yeah, then, then these shouldn't be forcible with the crowbar either, in my opinion. Well, for the for the challenges, it doesn't matter whether you lock pick a uh, uh, locker like this, uh, rusty as a uh, silver or a gold. It doesn't matter. You could you could have you could have lock pick thousands of these, yeah. Even uh, in fact, even the um, as far as the stats go, yeah, which is what Luthias would look look at. Uh, for proof of having completed the challenges, yeah, this locks picked goes up even when you pick the lock picking board. 
So you could you could you could just sit you could just sit in your base picking on the lock picking board over and over until you reach ten thousand and he'd never be able to tell the difference. For the kill box, you 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 definitely have to do gold locks. No, okay, I get you, I get you. That part I forgot about that part of the challenge. Yeah, there's the making the C4s. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I get you, I get you. Yeah, no, they had the same on the meat grinder. I don't think it was. I don't think it was four complete C4s there. I think it was like three or something or two. I can't remember now. forgot about that part. C4 is one of those things that's really eluded me because I'm not really not really that big into into raiding. I've never even wanted to put a C4 together to be honest but on the meat grinder that would have been the only reason that I would have done it is to get that challenge done interested to see just how many bunkers we'd have to go through to get a dial lock here because I've, I've I've been through I've been through quite a few yeah I've probably I've probably looted bunkers I'm probably somewhere in a range, somewhere between 25 and 30 at this point. And I came across that one dial lock at the very beginning completely by accident. Yeah, it was complete, which I ended up losing. And since then, I haven't seen a... I haven't seen... This is where I just came from, isn't it? I'm just getting turned around right now. That's the kill box. We've been through here. I want to get back to where the control room is go up to the next level. Is it this way? No, we've been here too. Where the fuck is the control room? There it is. Seeing the cigarettes keeps reminding me that they're gonna be adding the smoking in soon as well. With any luck, they'll add that at the same time in 0.85. It'll be interesting to see how that affects our metabolism. Silenced MP5.
This has probably been one of the best bunkers I've been in to today. The amount, the amount of good stuff I've gotten out of it. This is, oh, I need that. I need that, I need that for making pipe bombs. And the uh, improvised grenade launcher. Did you eat my arrow? Was it tasty, was it? Hope it went down sideways. fill this up and we can get rid of those other water bottles that we picked up. Where are you? There you are. Don't need you anymore. Oh, was that a bolt? It was indeed. That's more like the bunker I'm used to on this server. Absolutely fuck all. Oh, hello. Fancy mm -hmm. seeing you. You didn't bring any friends, did you? This was the entrance, wasn't it? And we just went in that way. And so we've just gone full circle or... No, no, we haven't been here yet. Okay. What is here, though? Oh, the, uh, the ladder. This screwdriver's run been a bit hit and miss. We found a bunch, but now we've just used a bunch between the cargo drop and that med locker that didn't want to give up the ghost. Hello. <coughs> Go to sleep. Yeah, at least we got some half decent stuff from this one. I must say I'm quite surprised. I'm not used to getting this level of stuff out of the bunkers here. Like if I just spawned in the area and come come down to collect this much stuff, I'd be properly chuffed. That would be a good start. Yeah, and then here we've been already, so we went around. Have we been all, have we been all the way around down here as well? I believe so. Let's just double check. That's where we came in. Let's just make sure we're not leaving anything. That's the control room. 
That's one of the armories that we've been to. Yeah, okay. We're done. Let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Oh, you put a C4 on the car. Yeah, no, I remember on One Life they had a slightly different set of challenges, and you had to do a uh, you had to do a kill box solo completely. That was one of the things that I was kind of happy about. Well, back then, because I wasn't as I wasn't anywhere near as experienced as as I am at this point. That was one of the things that I was happy with that that that, that didn't get carried over to Meat Grinder because I was still way more timid on doing the kill boxes and my lock picking was even worse than it is right now. Can you fuck off please big guy? I can hear you. Go on, keep moving. That's how it's supposed to be done. I'm not fucking running straight past him and getting him to fucking see us. Okay, that's uh, dun, 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 dun. cell box. We don't want that. We don't want that. We'll hold on to that. We don't need that or that. I'll hold on to that because we can disassemble it to repair the other one. And for the rest, that goes in here. How many locks we got? Is that nine? Yeah, of course, 13. Too short for a gold lock. Never mind. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. We've got enough for a gold lock. Let's put that together while we're here. That goes there, that goes there. We can put that back on. One gold lock, please. I know it's un it's a bit unnecessary, but I've been meaning to start locking the car uh, the boxes as well. Because knowing me, sooner or later I'm going to leave a fucking box in the middle of nowhere. Like, you know, when you're next to the car like this, I'm going to forget to put it in and drive away. And it's just going to be left sitting there. And I'd la rather have a lock on it than have some random person walk up to it and be able to take everything out of it. Oh, we've got some more screwdrivers right here. Let's top that back up, shall we? Like so. We don't need that. We'll grab that and that. That's good. Now let's just get back to this, shall we? Chuck all of this in here quickly and we can carry on. Where to? I don't know yet. We'll figure that out in just a moment. Our box still isn't full. And we need more screwdrivers. Uh, we could be popping... We could be popping lockers for our next kill box... For, for, for the next kill box card. Yeah, when I when I started when I started playing this morning, near enough ten hours ago, the card only had ten hours on it and we've used it already. So I can definitely find another one. I could I might as well just start popping police lock police and bunker lockers. I 
Yeah, we might as well do that. So where are we? We're there. There's a police station there. Okay, so we go back to the main road. We'll go to the town that's just outside of the B4 traders. It's got, it's got a few garages in it. And there's a police station. We can pop the lockers there in hopes of a card. Was that a fucking chicken? You fucking shitting me. I haven't, I haven't seen a chicken in ages. That's a fucking chicken. Okay. Run, chicken, run. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> another one! We got a whole flock of chickens! And another one! <laughs> Run chickens! Before I make you dinner! Or make you into dinner! <laughs> That's a mule. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a mule in the game before. Hello, mate. I've never seen a mule before. I've seen the horses. But I've never seen a mule. It's a first for me. Alright. Now I was zoo experience is over on the petting zoo. Let's get back to business. We'll listen to some music on the way. How about some artist formerly known as Prince? I love this song. Highlander. We're the princes of the The solo in this. Oh my god. The fucking guitar solo. Brian May absolutely kills it.
Sweet little solo, but just shreds it. Absolutely shreds it. Thank you very much for that, Freddie. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Oh, like Sean remix. I need a break. Are you ready?
What do we have next then? Seems to be going in order at the moment. That's the entire you send Queen album. It's Elvis. Yeah, lots of Elvis. You saw. Let's get past the Elvis. Jimi Hendrix. That's more Elvis. I want some credence. I know I've got that's was it. Johnny Cash, more Queen. Johnny Cash, Michael Jackson, Queen. Ah, go on then. A little bit of run DMC Aerosmith, why not? I'm down with that.
I don't want to put shuffle on because then it's going to be all over the place. I want some credence. This is also a nice Johnny Cash song. Yeah, I'll go with that. This is this is nice. I'll go with that. If you're traveling to the North Country Fair, where the winds hit heavy on the borderline, remember me. To one who lives there For she once was A true love of mine See for me That her hair's hanging down It curls and falls All down her breast See for me that her hair's hanging down That's the way I remember her bed If you go when the snowflakes fall When the rivers freeze and summer ends Please see for me if she's wearing a coat so warm To keep her from the howling wind If you're traveling in the North Country Fair Where the winds hit heavy on the border the wrong button again. Ah, fuck it. Let's stop with the music for a little while, shall we? Where are we off to next, then? That's what we need to figure out. That's what we need to figure out. Uh... Could go to Mirkovci, that's packed with garages, and there's a police station there, and that's just down the road. Yeah, then we might we might as well do that. We'll do that. Yeah, then it's just a stone's throw further down the road to get home. And then we can empty out some of the shit that we've got on us now. Make some more space. In fact In fact, we're gonna do Mirkovci and then and then call it a day for now. Probably not for today. I'll be back later on. But I still haven't ordered any food. I wouldn't mind ordering some food and then uh, having something to eat. Taking a little bit of a breather. We've been going for the better part of eight hours now. Seven in this stream and I can't even remember how many it was before we got disconnected in the previous one. Pop open some more lockers and hopefully find some screwdrivers and then pop our phone. I'll put the uh, I'll put the things that you need to make a workbench in that in that box before I before I log off. <laughs> <laughs> 
And if you come on at some point, then they'll be there waiting for you. I'll be interested to see what my YouTube Studio dashboard looks like after this uh, after this stream. Guarantee it's going to be flagged for every single song that we played. I don't really care. Got to have a bit of fun sometimes. Kick back with some decent tunes. We should be going that way because that's a good coffee. We did it again, we go straight into the fucking field of rocks. Let's just go with the road, shall we? like half a dozen of you come out of the fucking woodwork the second I step out of the car. Did that hit my car? Yeah, it did. You bastard. Well, that is one of the rules of firearm safety. <laughs> I can't remember it verbatim. Oh, look, a car. I can't remember it verbatim, but it's got something about making sure everything's clear behind what you're shooting at. Line of sight and all that. Shut up, please. Oh, there's a gun on the floor. That's a lovely little shotgun. Birthday hat. I didn't even, don't even want to think about fucking birthday hats and birthday cake. Don't want to jinx my fucking cargo drops. But I don't even want to say it. I'm thinking it, so it's too late already, so I might as well say it, but I don't want to jinx it. I'm happy that I haven't got a birthday cake in a cargo drop in a while now. Useless fucking cake. It's got enough sugar in it to give you fucking diabetes even in game. Sheesh. That's a, always welcome. That's the one. Screwdrivers galore. Oh, block mag. Nice. Who's creeping up on me? You want to go about your business, woman? No? Okay. Let's finish. 
finish this search in this, shall we? Before we were rudely interrupted, we were looking for screwdrivers. Let's let him catch his breath, shall we? Another one. Oh, what's that all about? Hunter. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hunter with ammo. Um, chuck that there. We can put that there and that there. I might hold on to, um, I might repair up and hold on to a hunter and even go as far as buy a, a hunter scope for it at the trader. We'll have to test out. You were saying, Rain, it was you, Ranger, no, that was saying that they added it back that you get experience from shooting the targets. We'll have to test to see if it works with the with the rifle. So I wouldn't I wouldn't want to waste any decent ammunition, but you come across 22s all over the place and it's shit anyway. We could use the 22 rifle to level up rifles and sniping. Oh, it's all except the sniper. You can do you can do the rifles though. No. Because if you take if you take the scope off of the sniper rifle, it just goes onto rifles. It's the scope. It's the scope that goes onto the sniping skill. So even if you're using like a B0, that's the exact opposite side of the map. We're not going to go for that. Even if you put like a if you put an ACOG on like on the VHS or an AK or something like that, it still goes to the sniping skill because it counts as a telescope. But if you take that off, yeah, like you could you could fire an M82 with the iron sights and it goes to rifles instead of sniping. It's all about the scope. <clears throat> Go for it, mate. I'm going to be logging off after this after this police station because all we're going to do is go home and organise some of our shit in the boxes and then order some food and chillax for a little while I do believe an episode of one of my shows is out today the 7th I think so Star Trek Picard comes out today, if I remember correctly. After being spoiled like what Netflix does, where when they release something, they just dump the whole season. So whenever something new came out, you could start watching it, like totally binge it. And yeah, okay, in like a couple of days, you've got nothing left to watch. But it feels so weird 
with things like HBO and Amazon, what is it, with, with Prime Video, where they still release certain certain um, series episode by episode, like, well, like what we had to put up with in the old days when it was just television. I mean, there's always something to look forward to this way, at least. It's just bloody annoying after having the luxury of season upon season upon season of stuff at your fingertips on something like Netflix. If you wanted to, if you wanted to watch a bunch of something, you just sit there and go through as much or as little as you want to your heart's content. Let's chuck that in there, shall we? There we go. Fingers crossed we get a uh, we get a kill box card out of one of these, would you reckon? It's that four. See, it reset there. That's what we were talking about before. I was smashing the F, and then all of a sudden it goes back, like, almost all the way. Seemingly by itself. No idea why it does that sometimes. So that's some 45s. Yes, please. Come on, we want the little green plastic thing. No? Alright. Next. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Startled me, though. Any coffee? No coffee for me. Some shotgun shells. Nothing. And... Come on, kill box, kill box, kill box. Nothing. What's this? Backpack, no thank you. Actually, let's grab that. Because we've only got one bobby pin left in our box. Last one, come on, give us a kill box card. You know you want to. No. Fair enough. 
anything on the roof other than rain. Nothing. Okay, let's get back to the car and fuck off home, shall we? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to check the floor where I'd stood. In case I left arrows behind. No, okay. Good. Must be hungry by now. We haven't had anything to eat. Yeah, we haven't had anything to eat for ages. Let's chuck some of these MREs away, shall we? They really get a lot of the atmospherics right in this game. look and feel of the different kinds of rainstorm like there's there's one heavier than this where there's like mist as well and they've got it they've got it really down to a T like at night when you've got that kind of storm you really can't see a lot past a certain distance it's really fucking cool proper realistic What the fuck is that all about? You've got to be shitting me that that sound was coming. I put that on the ground and it turns the rain sound into that. That must be a bug. That's fucking weird. Alright, one last little... One last little musical journey. Let's put it on shuffle and see if we can find some... Wilson! Shut up! Credence. I want some credence. Oh well, hard. Ah, oh, that was credence technically, but now I lost it. listening to heart shaped box or queen jimmy hendrix or michael jackson elvis queen jimmy hendrix adele 
Come on, I want some credence. I know I put some credence in the fucking mix. Where is it? That was credence. Low D, but... I am being a little picky today, aren't I? I'd love to listen to Traveling Band right now. I'm that annoying person in the car just keeps hitting next. Next, 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 next. Go on then, Metallica.
someone got out of the car, mate. Thank you for that, lads. Well, we made it. <laughs> All I'm going to do is uh, organise the shit out of some of my stuff. Empty out the boxes with all the goodies that we've got on that long, long, long trip around the map. I'm going to have a little bit of a break. Have something to eat. Maybe watch a movie or one of my, one of my episodes. And then we might be back, back to it a little bit later. But until then, thank you very much for following along. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to see about putting some more music in the, uh, in the music folder. Have a little bit more variety for next time. So yeah, thanks for following along. <laughs>